Shall we play a game? Oh. <laughs> I think I missed him. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Yeah. Love to. How about... Hey everybody, it's Deluxe on a weird Saturday night. Who's out there? Please chime in. I got no way of knowing if you're there or not. Before I get into the deck list, first of all, we are here to play this really weird rogue brew called... So we are in a queue with Golgari Infect, which is a strange deck. Um, I built it because I was tired of stuff dying, and uh, it's it's got some good staying powder. Hey, the Pult, thanks for chiming in. Um, so go over the deck list. We're in a queue right now. First first matchup, we got four Tree of Tails, one Mortuary Mire. Everything else does double. Got four of these, four of these, and I believe five of these for a total land count of 18. The typical mutagenics. What this deck does is it plays all the standard green stuff, but it has the benefit of Unearth, which plays like the 22nd creature and gets, lets you sneak in blue to the deck with draw, and also Evasion and Plague Stinger. Also in the sideboard, I used to run Duress and stuff. Right now, lately, I've been favoring Font of Return. Uh, death happens, and so I bring those in. Uh, obviously against uh, Delver and such, and uh, Standard Bearer, good tech. This is really good against Journey to Nowhere as it is in the other list. Moments Peace trades for that, um, uh, we don't hit quite as hard as typical Infect, but we're really, really close. It's like 99% there. And then one Pulse of Morasa to round it out against uh, decks that just want to kill everything like Demir. This has a good matchup against Demir, whereas normal Infect doesn't. So anyway, who else is out there? Who knows? I don't know if uh, the word got out that we're doing this on a Saturday night. We're usually a Friday afternoon thing, but uh, family's out of town. Got the place to myself, so figured I'm just going to be playing Magic anyway. Might as well be streaming. Let's see what we got here. Show Razamon in the house. This deck is spicy, says the poll. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, round one. Let's hope we do as good as we did with Elves the other day. I doubt it. This is a lot more roguish, but we'll go from here. See what we got. How late is it over there, Shiraz? I think you were saying something like one. Good lordy. That's enough room for Homer to write. All right, here we are. And we're up. We've got a bad hand right out of the gate. So we're going to mulligan this. And go spread the word if you could, if you got red added access or anywhere else, and uh, let people know it's going down. Mulligan this, and it's not going down well. All right, so we got a decent keeper here. Two creatures. We'll throw this on top. And hopefully we get a source of black here pretty soon. If not, we'll just cycle it. Draw, draw, draw. 1 a.m. Shiraz, you are a trooper. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, my, my boy right now is in Vegas playing a really hardcore basketball tournament, and uh, I can't stand Vegas. <laughs> I grew up, practically grew up summers there, my dad being a professional gambler before it was a cool thing. Hmm. All right. Okay, we're good here. I'm going to bring out the Icker Claw. Just good times. You can play a little bit more reckless with this build, too, against non-black or red-based decks because you do have access to Unearth. Um, just such a great card. Cycles for two. Love it. If you're wondering why we're playing this, we played Elves yesterday. Had a real good success with it. And uh, the first person to chime in, I forget who it was. I don't know if you remember Shiraz, was like, hey, try that Golgari Infect, which I think was on the plate for yesterday. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Wretch Mind, it's also really good against Burn. When we bring in Nature's Claim, we're able to snag it ourselves. In Traditional Infect, um, oh, we're going against Elves. The word has gotten out already. Look at this. All right. Well, let's see if we can keep them honest. We'll come on over here. I'm going to really favor the Mer plan here because uh, any block 
uh, really pumps that thing up. It has just a natural built-in ability. When you really look at uh, Icar Claw Mura, it's ridiculous that this is a common. Because anything with, with uh, Infect, you should double the stat. So it's a 2-2 it's a two, two for 2 that gets kind of plus 4, plus 4 if you put it in a real-world terms and not Infect language. It's, it's pretty crazy. Hey, hey, little fight's in the house. All right, but he hasn't chimed in yet. It's late there, too, but not as late as it is for Shiraz. Pulling the old 1 a.m. popper. Good times. All right, we got one infect. I can't believe these people sitting here playing. Yeah, you know what? I'm, it might be more. I'm going to go aggro. If I can drop another land, I'll, I'll play Mamba, and then we'll just block Vanguard all day, which was my big critique of why I don't play this card. Everything in the world blocks it. But it's nice to see the, uh, the rare version of it. Boom, there he is. Got two pilots in the house. Saturday night. Uh-oh, this might be a quick one. Hmm. This is when we don't want our Glistener Elf because, keyword, Elf. It's an Elf. Yikes. Um, hmm. Tempted to block that. We won't. This is going to be a rough one, though. Dum -bum -bum. See what happens. He went with Elves and everybody starts playing it. Darn it. Wah -wah. Come on, come on. Hopefully I can keep my energy up. I had coffee a few hours ago, so uh, this is all for reals. And if you want to cap up, if you're wondering why uh, some of us look like we're yelling. That's just the propaganda thing. We like the format so much, we yell loud and proud and all that good stuff. I didn't set my stop there. Or I had my stop set, but I clicked right through it. Let's see. I'm going to go from here. Actually, I think I'm going to cycle before... I should have done this first. I'm a little, little out of it. Oh, that would have been a really good play there, jackass. All right. I'm probably dead here if he has an average draw. He's already got eight. Any more elves? Three in hand. Might be dead. We'll see. Of course, we've got we've got the trample goodness. So, yep, yep. A lizard. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I guess a smiley face lizard. Hmm. This isn't too bad. Might be able to hold them off here and die next turn. Mm hmm. Of course, in this uh, person's favor is my argument with uh, I usually put play the life gain guy over this and it's not going to do any good against infect here but let me write down what the hell we're playing against here elves it is alrighty here we are here we are gosh if we can do half as good as we did yesterday that'd be something of course elves is kind of more of a tier one thing unless people are ready for it I find that unless you run in a demir all day which we did twice but got a little lucky there but uh, also with um, let's see oh. We, this is going to be it's going to be get ugly but uh if unless you run into ur control or something i'm really surprised why he didn't activate query and ranger there i sure would have oh boy so if we cycle here and draw into a land we might have it other than that we're kind of dead in the water here so i'm going to favor that plan because if you block and just put together anything else he wants there well We've got the vines proof against um, that would let us survive at least one turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold back on on my uh, uh, rancor there and try to make him eat some dudes because I think he'll think that they will live and they won't. And then um, if I can play vines and he since he didn't use the Quarian Ranger, maybe he doesn't r realize he can do that. I doubt it, but we'll see. I mean, I'm, I think I'm dead either way here. It's a frog, my good man. Kind of looks like a... Yeah, I guess it is a frog. Oh, well, there went that plan, right? But this is actually kind of cool. So we're going to get rid of his big threat here. You know, I could just... Um, these are both going to die. We're going to have... Uh, he's already untapped one thing. Now, if I use Groundswell now... I can actually kill his big threat. There's only going to be a few elves out. Hmm. This is going to live either, maybe either way. Only if we do this. Oh, don't want to click on that. We'll go from here. And it's all up to him now. Okay. 7-7 seven, seven there. Boom. That's dead. That's dead. Everything's dead. See what I mean? You think this will live, but it won't because at the end of the combat, all its pump falls off and then... But we're still going to take at least eight, if not a lot more. The Pult. Old Vines for the turn to stop Timberwatch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking until he did that double block and I saw the option to get rid of a 
good chunk of my life there. So I think he's getting a little noivous here. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Is he playing? Oh, okay. Gotcha. That's a strange move. I would have played that first. Navi Shambler. Stabber. Maybe he's a uh, of the Hydroblasted Persuasion this evening. Or just needs coffee. One of the two. Something to do with that, right? Okay, we have to win this turn. <laughs> Doesn't matter how conservative this guy plays. Craziness. All right. Don't think we got it, but we'll give it a go. Trample in the house. Yeah, unless he just doesn't block, or pretty much, or if he just blocks with one. But, you know, the Timberwatch is going to get in there, and we're kind of dead meat here. So it's off to game two, unless we just get crazy lucky here. Playing the old school Timberwatch art. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Well, that's going to die regardless. So I'm going to save. Uh, we can still live, but we don't really have much to do, you see. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. It'll die. Let's see. I can make this a... Um, it'll still die if I vast wood it. But... Um, one will get over. Yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, yay, yay, yay. It's still dead. Hmm. Yeah, not really a fan of this. What I do want to do is probably bring in like a gut shots for Query and Ranger because Timberwatch is, is nasty, but it's only ultra nasty when uh, Query and Ranger's there. So I think we're just gonna hold here. Let let the thing die. I could cast my dude, but then I'm I'm I think I'm dead. I mean, if he does anything remotely decent, otherwise. I mean, what's the other what's the other option there though? Maybe maybe uh, we can hold out hope for like uh, one vast wood, you know, keeping us alive so that we can activate it again next turn. Not quite sure. We'll see. Kind of a weird scenario here. This in traditional effect, I like to play treetop bracers, Shiraz or Litified. Who's first? <laughs> um, who's less sleepy? Whoever can bring that up. Um, treetop bracers is so good against Stompy, against Elves, against RDW, all these things because it just. Makes stuff unblockable. It's great. Turns them into kind of a small Silhana. I think somebody was saying, Time Knight 113, what are you doing on at this hour? Uh, we mentioned yesterday, family's out of town. I was just going to do a surprise little Saturday night show. Thought the hell with it. We won big yesterday. We'll play some Rogue tonight, have some good times. So, all the power to us, I guess, right? Good times. Treetop racers. Yeah, I wish uh, maybe I should make room for that in this, but who, who thought we were bumping at Elves first, first round? Darn bandwagon jumpers. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Time night. Thanks for chiming in. Like I said, I don't know if anybody's there until you say something. So we're going to go like this. I mean, we're dead, but let's see what he's got. We're going to go like this. <laughs> Just buying time here. Let's see if he knows the querying trick. I haven't really seen him use it yet. Yep. Oh, there we go. Pretty, pretty uh, naive to think he doesn't know that, but it seemed like it for a while there. That'll at least keep us alive for one more turn. Alrighty, this is when we want moments peace, actually, because that's just all about swing city. So, let's see. Hopefully, he gets all nice and timid here or whatnot. Well, let's see. I was just about to watch your YouTube like I normally do. Well, now you got this too, right? Good times. All right. Well, keep this stream not too long. I'm, I'm just gonna. Avoid the inevitable there. So we start off with a loss. We I think we mulligan down to five cards. It might have been even four. I'm not quite sure. I love Moments Peace and X that can't counter it. It's just brutal. That's pretty much about it. Um, might I might lose uh, one on Earth. Stingers are going to be really good. We'll go over this deck list in a minute. Um, Chris Bears are pretty good. I mean, maybe for defense, I'll keep one back. And uh, vines, I'm not, I'm not too thrilled to see. There's not much messing with our stuff, and I only want to play it when it's kicked. So my logic being, I'm gonna take out two of those. Um, so we've got the nice, got the nice men out. Um, Mamba's gonna kind of, Mamba and, and Chris Bears are gonna kind of, gotta, you know, stall the ground. And you know what? I'm actually gonna lose a Mamba and put back in the Chris Bear just so I have uh, more mana to just activate my Moments Peace flashback. I don't want to be charring it up with uh, regenerate mana. Um, the only drawback is, you know, we're, we have to keep this in because of the speed. Um, but you know what? They're running elves. This is an elf. The odds of them 
Ah, it's tough. You know, I really am thinking about taking this out because elves has like 40 creatures and then you then you start adding in the tokens and it gets pretty ridiculous. So for this to hit, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous, but we're going to keep it in. I mean, we do have um, we do have Rancor and uh, it can at least act as a blocker. So I think we're going to go with this. We've got a nice defensive package. We don't need Font of Return, which is such Ancestral Recall is an amazing card. And in Popper, this is like an ancestral recall that lets you look like a library of laying every single time you draw a card. You get to choose what three cards you want to draw, and you can do it at the end of the turn. It's it's just nasty. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to dumb down my deck with gut shots like I was thinking. I'm just going to uh, rely on Moments Peace to get us there, and hopefully we can fly over with the Stingers because I don't think he's going to see that coming. He might game two. Maybe he's running uh, scatter shots, but enough talk. Let's get into it. Hey, whoop, whoop says Little Fight. Hey, and pull. Out for gut shot? No, I think I just a little lag there, but I just explained that. I'm I don't know. There's you can really overboard sometimes. I don't mean the magic card. I'm just talking the uh, ability to just end up playing a little bit too much. Gosh, look at this mana. We need we need more mana in this deck. Mole again. We will keep this. Now we've got this does come out. Slower than usual because of our a lot of tap lands, but it gives us that flexibility. And a lot of times, this mire there's only one of them, but a lot of times cards like this are the forest, and you don't really feel the hiccup in uh, tempo. So we'll keep this. Definitely put this on top. We really like that card. And if something dies, we've got the mire to bring it back. So I'm going to lead with the gate and pass the turn. Hope for the best. Let's see, our opponent did not mulligan, and yet we mulliganed again. So. Oh, God, I hate the artwork on that Finhorn Elf. All right, well, we're not playing Elf, so I can make the cards a little bit bigger here, guys. Sorry about that. I was still on my uh, had an Elf hangover from yesterday. We'll play this, and you know what? I don't, I'm just going to drop this Synergy out the door. I, I just, uh, I need mana next turn, and now our deck's working. we got every color, and we're, we're good to go. So uh, I would, and I'll gladly block and trade with some things because this this elf the second something shows up like a timber watch it's a detriment to have an elf out so um keeping his numbers down maybe giving an unearth target we'll see of course i could go like this but i'll drop them and it's a little relaxing i'm not gonna lie playing um playing a deck that uh I'm just going to let this die. I'm not even going to pump it with Mutagenic. I'm going to wait for that Rancor and go, because now, you know, it's it's uh, turn three and he's got one elf, so that doesn't feel too good. I keep them numbers down, and we got hope. He's running the uh, more traditional version with, with the fetch land, Sylvan Ranger combo, so, you know, not wrong, not right, just not my style. Two mana's a lot for elves. A whole lot. So now he pretty much won't block because he, he can't trade here and we don't have that but I'm gonna play this we don't we're not holding um, we are not holding what do you call uh, groundswell but I don't want to I don't want to wait on it so we've got three four be able to set up boom 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 might be worth it to just cycle here I'm not quite sure all right we're gonna hit here here I want to I want to get him just in kind of threat mode right out of the gates now boom he, uh, he might be in trouble next turn and I'm gonna cycle all right I've got that should I no I'm not gonna play it in case we draw you know what ground swell so now he wants to get guys in front of it we don't really have our, our unearth tech but like I said I'm, I'm not too worried about this being a if he brings out a gut shot all the power to him he he deserves it but I prefer the original art over the newer CG one, says Time Knight 113. Which card are we talking about? I'm not quite sure. Oh, the Finhorn, yeah. I don't know. I I got a, a little kid in the other room that can draw better than that. Arch Naomi, two days in a row. Good to see you. Yes, if you catch my name in my little silly nameplate here, I think I called myself the Mage of Vestwood. Pretty cheesy, but uh, yeah, whatever. Come on, Rancor. When Infect runs into ground crew, it's not good. Alrighty. Well, I really doubt that he's not going to block here, but um, we can we can hope. There's no timber watch yet, but it's 
Now this is when we really, really, really want to draw moments piece because we could sit back, wait for a rancor and stuff, but for right now, we're kind of dead in the water. Didn't you vines for the win on the last attack? No, 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 no. That was, uh, I didn't have the, the vines mana up because of the mortuary mire. Only run one of those in the deck. And uh, I've often thought of using, a, and I have tried using a rot farm in that place. Reason being, you know, with only 18 lands, I play one rot farm, you can return lands to maybe gain life, but to mainly turn on uh, ground swell. And uh, I just didn't like drawing it. There's so many, so many turns. Ooh, this might be over real quick. Does he have, oh, he doesn't have query and ranger, but he's got six mana floating. So unless we, uh, yeah, what we, re we need moments, peace and rank or, or moments piece followed by our uh, Plague Stinger. When you run into a really heavy land battle like this, I, I probably should have been paying a little bit more attention, maybe mulliganed aggressively into the uh, the Infect Flyer because I have I just played Elves earlier today with this and it was a 2-0 and it seemed really easy, but both games I had the Flyer on turn two. I think it was like Jungle Hollow, Tree of Tales, and the game was, and the game was over. Let me bring the board down here a little bit. We gotta pay the piper after yesterday's 5-0, right? Play a little bit of rogue and crash and burn probably, but like I said, this is the one that somebody chimed in on. Arch Naomi, mean, do you remember? Or Shiraz who who it was? I can't quite remember. Oh boy. These dudes are going to uh, kill me now. And I don't have a uh, moment's peace in hand, even though we run four. That would be really great right now, but we ain't got it. I can at least bluff that we do. I mean, why wouldn't he attack, though, right? All right, I'm just going to fold here, guys. He's He's got more than enough if he even attacks with two things. So double down with the elves, crash and burn. And I jump in and discuss the deck real quick or down a game, play a league match, and I'll run over to the deck list here real quick. We have um, the four mutagenic grows, the four glisteners, four ground swells, four rancors, four seals, and we're already paired for a match. Oh, it never fails whenever there's... Time to interrupt. It will happen. Um, where was I here? Hey, get back here, you little stinker. Uh, I said this. Gosh darn it. Then four vines, four on earth, two crisp bears. That three toughness is paramount. It's so important. I'm not even going to get into it. Just It, it avoids so much damage. Um, Ecker Claw, Murr, Blight Mamba, and Plague Stinger is kind of our MVP in the air. Even gets around Doomblade against Amir. Font of the Return is one of the main reasons we're playing this. I used to run Duress, but this has just really proven itself. Got this for one more recursion, four moments piece, four of these for Journey to Nowhere, for Burn with our own artifact lands, and four gut shots to clean up the mess of standard bears and that kind of stuff. So, kept our opponent waiting long enough. We have OK Land. We got, you know, our, kind of our, I would argue, our worst creature, um, but we'll keep. We've got, uh, depending on what, on what he's got, we could slow roll it or we can uh, defend. This is a little similar to Elves in, in that, you know, you kind of have to take what you get with your draw. If you got a few lands and a creature or two, you got to kind of make it work. So, dun, dun, dun. Yep, we are down a game. So that sucks, but whatever. All right, Swamp it is. Might be surprised to know that we actually don't do that badly against... So here's a perfect example. See this hand? Traditional uh, infect would still be this slow, but we get the added benefit of that first turn. The only time it's slower is when you have a glistener elf and you're stuck on double lands, which isn't really all that often. Um, he didn't drop a witch. He's probably got, you know what, I'm going to drop a hollow and pass the turn and I'll explain why in a second. He's probably got a critter and we can back it up with vines, which might give us the jump on removal and then we can get, we can get two out eventually there. So um, I'm just going to try to force him. You know, he might chittering rats us here, but nope, oh, nope. All right. Uh, but now it's, at least we have the, uh, the backup. So we'll keep the Mamba up. We don't have regenerate map, but we got the vines back up. He's probably like, what the hell am I playing? Dum -bum -bum. Yeah. Yeah. The Polt. that's, that's pretty old, old tech from a while ago. I've, uh, I've always been a fan of it. I, um, I used to have to explain it like crazy. Most most people get it now, but um, you can also, I mean, optimally, the, the best tech is to snag your own Rancor because it just comes back to your hand. I've been desperate a few times against Burn, and I've, I've put Rancor on Kelden Marauders, and uh, 
before it attacks I zap it and get it back for life and then you know I'm only down one life so there's a lot of neat tricks as with most uh, aggro strategies if you just play a little slower you tend to see a lot of uh, a lot of new uh, I guess a angles to play there um, this is game one should I you guys think I should double Mamba and walk into an edict I think I should double Mamba this is the first game so I'm gonna double Mamba here Sounds like a Lakers term or something like double Kobe Bryant's or something like that. But I'm just going to go like this. Hopefully he doesn't. I mean, if he's got double this figure, what are we going to do here? He's, that would be all four of them in his opening hand. But um, what's this? What's this? Okay, well, there's one of them. So already I, I'm glad with that decision because if we played one, we wouldn't have been able to do much with that anyway. Hopefully down comes a creature and he taps out and we can at least have something here. Darn it. Double edicts. What you gonna do? But look at our mana, we're good. And if we draw any of our unearthed spells, we're feeling it. There's no pressure on the board. I mean, if uh, we've got unearthed still, what is that? Three mambas in the yard? That's crazy. Boom, boom, boom. Double mambas. And he's had the double edicts. So that's interesting. Oh, God, we're getting flooded with 18 lands. When does that happen? Gosh, we could almost cast. Old Mods Crusher, give that infect. Ugh. Oh well. Come on, come on. It's funny, these run so many similar cards. There's a, oh, there's that. Man, remember a couple weeks ago there was a, a little fruit fly. Got him! That thing did not have spider silk armor. All right, we're gonna go pop, pop. I'm gonna play my guild gate. I'll just keep one forest back. I'm really afraid of chittering rats right here. I don't want him to lock me down, but we're doing okay. We're, I mean, we're at 21 life. I don't think we're going to draw any more lands in this. Two, four, six, eight. There's only 10 more lands. And uh, one in every four cards, or almost less than that, are going to be lands. So watch we draw it again. That'd be pretty funny. Dum bum bum. Here we are. Hmm. I've got a lot of candles in here, and it's getting hot. <laughs> Maybe it's nervous from losing the L's. Who knows? Boy, I wish Moments Peace would have shown up. That would have been sweet. Of course, what we really needed there was our flyer. I'm going to write a little evasion note. Evasion issue so that I address that later. Boom. All right. I'll go like this. And we've got we've got the mana. You know, I don't I don't really want to get chittering rats here, and I'm not going to wait for a ground swell. So I think I'm just going to play hellbent here, guys. Three six. He draws one more thing. We're screwed anyway. So what's he got? What's he got? Another verdict? He's just trying to make us sweat. Double mamba. Oh my gosh! You kidding me? Yeah, these these old school styles, boy. If if uh, if they're going crazy with um, with with edict effects, it, it can get it can get pretty nuts. I think this still works, right? It's still there. Hmm. He's got chittering rats. You know what? I'm gonna hold this back because if he does draw chittering rats, I want him to play it over uh, an edict if he has an, if he's holding a land or he tops deck either one of them. He can still regenerate be pretty sweet if we did draw a groundswell next and he comes all at us 17 there i mean we haven't even infected this guy yet and he's already got edict math up this is not looking good but it implies that he doesn't have much in his hand so I like this worst thing we could draw here is a land for obvious reasons but we'd also be locked out if chittering rats comes down so oh this is looking like a crash burn outing doesn't it down a game against elves and we're not looking good against mono black, which is plays pretty even. You'd be surprised. It's usually a wipeout when you're playing traditional infect, but against this it can be uh, fairly good. Not quite sure what the play is here. Do you play the land? I do not want to get chittering rats. I've already got that back up. I'm going to play it and just get out of rat country. <laughs> Mike Man, thanks for joining us. Hey, hey, good to see you. We're already down a game. We lost to elves. <laughs> Who would have thought you'd see that until yesterday, right? 
But uh, we didn't have any of our inv evasion creatures show up, and so we were just running into 1-1s one all day long, which is my argument against Vanguard anyway. But unfortunately, his Vanguard was about a 10-10, and that's all she wrote. All right. We will take seven. What you got? What'd you draw? What is it? Vines for the win. Ouch. That's almost enough, isn't it? Boom. Down to one. Oh, boy. Nothing going to save us here, even if... Uh, unless he just doesn't block. I'll do the old ha 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 thing. Yeah, we're dead here. Can at least attack. I mean, every, anything kills us. Sign and blood will kill us here, so... Once he blocks, I'm not even going to share any info with him. Down another game. NBC, or one one game of the match. So we do get a lot stronger, though. What the worst thing, though, and I won't pull any punches even with Golgari, in fact, is uh, Kombaji, which is just obscene. We're going to bring in a uh, Pulse of Marasa and both fonts of return. And that's about it. Um, thinking I might lose. No, I don't want to lose any creatures. I'm going to lose one Vines and one Ground Swell just because I... Actually, I'm going to lose two Ground Swell. Or Rank. Um, ooh, tempted to lose Rancor because that, that can really handicap you with uh, Chittering Rats if you don't have a target. But I'm going to play Aggro and I want to just keep... I'll, I'll go that same route, whereas I don't want to be really holding lands because of Chittering Rats. So I'm going to just keep two Ground Swells. When I see them, I'll play them and go from there. So our anti-black package we've got the four flyers let's make it eight let's make it 20 so we got two fauna of turns and uh we'll go from there see how it goes and then we got this to clean up the mess afterwards hopefully it'll maybe it'll reset the the gary gary math i'm a little scared though that's like kind of a traditionally old school black deck that you know we saw guests verdict which most people don't run anymore in the versions i've seen not that it's good or bad or whatever it's just uh this thing really seems slanted towards uh destroying my creation here we go let's check it up it, it, ouch that's rough mike man says golgari is my favorite guild flavor wise all right yeah we got some good stuff here see again seems slow but we can only do stuff on turn two you could argue you know it, if this was all green it'd be cool to drop seal right away but um i'll take the flexibility a little bit of life game here drop the guild gate at a later time kind of cool playing at night it's nice and quiet I don't have any uh, construction noise outside I know that never comes through but I'm such a perfectionist with all the silly stuff that it bugs me sometimes but so I don't know what you got what's the vote here uh play plague stinger maybe hoping to dodge a doom blade or uh play the icker club I think we we lead with the myrrh and save this for a surprise like Stinger is the bomb, says my man, 1978. I'd like to think so. I'm going to lead with the Myrrh. We'll see how. Boy, I wish we had a, a mutagenic growth here. Hmm. Nope. All right. It's probably another one in his hand. Be nice to maybe just draw a basic here and we could drop the seal. Well, that works too. At least we can get around one removal, right? Black bonk bink. Flying infect. Got you killed next turn, sucker. Can you dig it? Please don't kill it. Just cast a uh, chittering rats and leave me on my way, man. Come on, what did I ever do to you, right? Big zombie movie fan, so got to go with the Golgari. Oh, man, that's the one thing we did not want to see. Uh, come on, on Earth. Come on, anything. No land. Yep, there we go. Cool. All right, we're going to unearth this. What's the vote, guys? You know, Ikraklamar has some validity here. If we play that, he might think he can block it because we haven't shown that we have Rancor yet. And anything that they block is going to be a 2-2, two -two, so it's a wash. It's definitely a treat. Propaganda on a Saturday. Oh, thank you, Syscoms. It makes my day. I, I, I wish we were winning like yesterday. It was a, it was a nice uh, 
change to play something serious yesterday. I know I get email after email wanting me to play decks like this, and uh, but I don't know. I got I don't have much much ego sometimes when it comes, especially comes to rogue. But it, there's enough there where it's like, gosh darn it, one. So yesterday's win felt pretty nice. But what do you guys vote for here? Um, I think there, there's validity to both. Necker Claw Mur might. I think he, either one wins if he doesn't have an answer, but. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm referencing here. If if he if we play this, he can think he blocks because he doesn't know our hand. So if he plays Chittering Rats or something, and he blocks, it still goes over the top. It's it's just a, it's a wash because every black creature is a two two. So vote for Stinger. All right. Well, we'll do that then. We will cast this on the Stinger. And. Doesn't this feel like cheating? We get a 1-1 one, one Flying Infect for one mana. Oh, that's good times. I'm going to play the Seal of Strength first. We are going to Rancor it right now. Threaten death next turn. Hopefully all he has is a Disfigure or something, and we can burn our Mutagenic. We'll see. This might be that crucial turn when all he has... Maybe maybe he's got a Doom Blade, so that, that might have put... Um, the decision over the top there, Pult. That might have been a good one there. <sighs> hmm. All right. Well, it's two either way. If he has Disfigure, we still have the answer on the board, uncounterable. So you had me at Flying Infect. <laughs> well said. Okay. Well, that's good. I still have this. Well, we can't kill him now, but we can get awfully close depending on what we draw. It's nice to know pretty much the only thing he can have is a disfigure. It's like the best the best thing he can have right now. All right. So again, you see what I wanted to do there? I want to oh, look at it. It's like just attack. There might be some really weird even I don't know all the cards. There might be some really weird 1-1 one, one black flying flash. Oh, there is one. It's uh, the ghostly apparition. To remove a thing from the sideboard. He could have that right now, and then I'd, I'd, I'd be out of mass. So I want to make sure he doesn't block it. Now I do this. Hopefully he thinks like, oh, my disfigure will work now. Nope. All right. Well, I'm just going to pay some respect here and make sure that we've got what we need. Here comes 8. Here comes the rest. Dum -bum -bum -bum. I'm going to pull even here. Or does he have some instant innocent blood that I don't know about? What do we got? What do we got? It's never over. Better lucky than good. <laughs> All right. So we're playing even with mono black, which is supposed to really trump us. Not much going on. When this comes up, if we if we do go long, which this will help us go long, it's uh, it'll be pretty good times. I think we're pretty well boarded here. Can't really think of anything else I want to bring in. I'm just so glad if he plays. Thanks for chiming in. Good to see you. Um, the number one thing I don't want to see, which I'll probably jinx myself by saying this, is is Kombaji witches. If if that comes up, it's just game over. I mean, we do have the Chris Bearer, but outside of a play mistake or whatnot, or them blocking when they shouldn't, it's it's uh, it's grim. It's very grim. Bum, bum, bum. All right. Well. Hmm. We're going to keep this. We've got two lands. We've got three creatures. We've got some defense, and we've got some life gain and recursion going here. So we're going to keep. I'm going to just throw out my uh, Glistener Elf as a sacrificial lamb because it's it will eat Disfigure or something, and hopefully it'll make room for uh, their Claw Murder to come up behind it. Could argue. Oh, keeping us honest. Look at this. Duress in the house. Yes, Beck and Apparition. I'm sure there's three or four others that I. But that's the uh, the most playable one that came to my mind. Hmm. We're liking this. I'm going to slow roll it. I mean, I'll put this out just in case he does have an edict effect. It's going to kind of time walk him for a turn to keep us off the ropes. He knows it's in our hand. Didn't see us draw the unearth, so maybe that'll get extra value out of a disfigure. Who knows? 
Yes, I sure hope they do new art for the witches too, sitcoms. That's uh Siscoms, I should say. Sorry about that. Uh unmatching lands, what gives? No respect, but he did in his in his value, he just arrest us, so he knows we don't really have any pump. That's fair. Alright. I've got this and not much else. Would have been so nice to top deck groundswell there or vines. Eh, not so much vines. It's more too defensive there. Alright. Don't have much. Okay. So I think we'll keep this guy back for edict insurance. Or not. I mean, we do have this now. Let's go crazy. Start flying over the top. We've got a lot of critters. Now, now we do want land. Um, I'm just going to keep my Glistener Elf back to just eat edicts if, uh, he doesn't, if he doesn't target it right away. Tombstone on our earth, says Mike Man. It totally reminds me of a guitar sticking up from the ground. Yeah. Said, uh, I think, was it Radic? Who was the guy that won the art contest for, from us? Little fight. Um, was it Foo 2? Can't, can't quite remember, but he did it in the snow, and we were like, man, that was a lot of effort. We had to, he won the days. I think we did that video yesterday. Nice little replay on stuff. Oh, I don't like this. He's going to get either of our recursions back. He's probably a little nervous here seeing Unearth and Pulse. It's like, Damn, how many times do I have to kill this stuff? I kind of prefer that take. Oh, never mind, that's why. Boy, he's just eviscerating our hand here. I kind of am liking this. Uh, it kind of implies that he doesn't really have much else. All right, well, we'll start pecking you in the air. I wish I had a Rancor or something, but I don't really know if I'd want to walk right into a disfigure there. And knowing what we got, I'm going to uh, favor the Claw Murr here first. Just because I can attack for two every turn if he's drawing dead. You never know what he's got. Might be a bunch of sign and bloods and he's just doesn't doesn't quite know. You know, I think he might have disfigure. That hesitation really uh sold me on that anyway. On which is that it? Oh, that would be very cool, says Little Fight. Hope they keep the same vibe with a sharper modern art style than the figures. Yeah, ditto. We're liking this. He might just have a slow hand here. And I will run those into the ground. No problem there. Wham, bam. The only way he kills that is if we... Um, he double blocks. If he double blocks, that's the only way Ickerclomber dies. So I'm going to attack with everything here. So if he kills the Icar Claw, that's fine. We got another one. If he kills the Elf, we drop maybe the Mamba. I, just in case he's running uh, Echoing Decay, I don't want to really walk into that. We're eventually going to have to test the waters with that, but for right now, we'll leave it at that. Cool. Well, we're really going to neuter this team. He can only hit us for one if he does attack, but most people won't against a uh, black here. And because of this play, I don't know. I'm gonna. I am going to drop the... Uh, I'll drop the mama. I'll stay true to what I said. It's not like we have Rancor right now. And if we draw it, we'll play it. And then we'll drop this other one behind us. So we'll see. But you notice, if this was traditional, in fact, I mean, we we pretty much wouldn't hit him yet. He, uh, it's only because of the uh, Stinger. And things like Doomblade against, like, Teachings and stuff, they have they have a dead card against this. So it's it's not, you know... Oh, Tendrils. That's cool. But notice which one he got rid of, right? That's the one nobody wants to see. Hey, look at this. What do we say? Better looking than good, right? All right. Well, I'm going to attack with both. Foo too. That's right. Thank you for that. Thank you, Little Fight. Appreciate that. Dead, dead. Extra dead. Hmm. I don't want to do this, but I'm just going to slow roll this, guys, and, and regenerate and pass the turn. If we draw a land next turn, we're going to really be able to come out. You know, he could have Shrivel. Don't want to invest too much, but do want to drop Stinger next turn. He's got no critters. Edict in the house. This is great. He's already duressed us three times, so I feel we're kind of out of the woods there. He might have a fourth, but I want to stay aggro. And I'm going to drop this, and I think that's pretty much where I'm going to sit next turn. I'll, I'll Hopefully we'll draw some damn pump. I don't know where our pump's at. 
Right now, the thing we actually don't care about the most is the Mamba. If he wants to edict us, I'm going to lose that because Black just can't deal with this. It kills every one of their guys unless it's a double block. If there's any tricks, it's it's over. So Maybe he's got another Tendrils. Okay. Uh, in case he has duress, I'm going to throw the font back on top. All right. I am, uh, because I want to trigger the font, I'm going to attack with everything. Getting kind of crunchy here. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Well, that's too... I'm going to let it go. Now we've got three in our yard, so font's active, but we can't trigger it. So what I'm going to do next is just play the Murr. In case another 2-2 comes down, there's there's no... Uh, well, you could argue a double block would, would technically kill it. But at seven, if we about to draw any pump, this guy's dead. Of course, he might, he might be playing really conservatively or thinking we're playing conservatively. Like, ah, when's that guy going to play his instant? You know, has maybe maybe he's got his hands on another tendrils of corruption, and he's just waiting for us to pull the trigger and thinking that I'm a patient person, which we all know I'm not. I'll play this any day of the week. I'll go like this now. You know, he could have um, rancid earth. He could have uh, shrivel. There's a lot of things he could have here. So. I'm going to favor um, just playing this slow and playing out our uh, font of return. This is if we win this, I'm going to be really happy. Obviously, it will be one and one, but it will really showcase, you know, why the f are you going to play Golgari Infect over Infect? Well, it has staying power against decks that traditionally just destroy Infect, and uh, you know, I might, I might have. Uh, the list I've, I'm running, if I had I known I was going against Elves, obviously I would have tried to have a little bit better tech than just one flyer in the deck, but um, we also didn't draw that well. I think we mulliganed a 5 or 4 the first game, and then what are you going to do? You know, every deck has those outs, so. All right, moment of truth. Does he have Shrivel? And if he does, we'll go get back whatever we want. Oh, well, we like this. That was a very smart choice. A lot of people would have got greedy with rats there and not really kind of thought about the big, big picture there, but. I think we got this one, guys. Normally, you know, Tendrils does keep you in the race, but we're not, we don't care if he has 500 life right now. We're all about this number nine right here in green. So, yay. So we pull even. All right. Well, I'm going to take a quick break, guys. Grab a uh, drink, and I will be back in just a few after these messages. Welcome to Sideboards Explore. Here are the cards you should always look to first when building a proper popper sideboard. First on our list is Coral Knight. Being able to eliminate the worst threat on the board for one mana makes this card shine, especially for a color that lacks good removal. Crypt Incursion's ability to eat aggro players' graveyards and gain horrific amounts of life are not to be overlooked. Crypt Rat's capability to kill everything on the board is awesome. Make sure to master the multiple activation tricks to get rid of pesky undying critters in one swoop. Curfew punishes players for going all in on a creature. It's especially good versus Kiln Fiend decks and Hexproof. Curse of Chains can be used as removal in any white or blue decks. Great for isolating threats like Gurmag Angler. Duress goes a long way towards ruining your opponent's game plans on the very first turn. At worst, you get free intel on your opponent's hand strength. Electricery is one of the best mass removal spells in the game. For years, commoners were forced to brew with cards like Seismic Shudder to combat small armies. Not anymore. Flaring Pain is the only answer outside of a counterspell for some of the most powerful fog effects Popper has in its arsenal. Ghastly Demise is one of the most efficient removal spells in all of Magic, so long as your opponent isn't of the Swamp Persuasion. Gleeful Sabotage is a flexible card versus artifacts and enchantments, allowing a 2 for 1 removal effect for a small amount of tempo loss. It's a great starting point for dealing with artifacts and enchantments. Gorilla Shaman is hate at its finest. This card obliterates affinity decks. However, never cast this without backup mana. Gutshot is simply amazing. You're able to eliminate the majority of early popper threats. This is the card you should be playing with in almost every deck you brew. Hydroblast and Pyroblast are fantastic catch-all options for decks that run enemy colors. 
Lumithread Field is nasty tech for decks that aim to go wide by playing a lot of little creatures. The majority of mass removal comes in black and red, and aside from early discard, once this sticks, it's impossible for black or red mages to remove it. Martyr of Ashes is often forgotten in red decks and sideboards. While it often doesn't activate for more than 2 or 3 damage, if designed around, this card can be an absolute backbreaker. Moment's Peace often feels like multiple time walk effects on the battlefield. Do not underestimate the power of Fog. Okiba Gang Shinobi. This is the card your opponent never wants to see. If left unanswered, it can turn the tide of battle if not dealt with immediately. Prismatic Strands. If you have access to white mana, you should be running this. It can often act as a one-sided Wrath of God. Obviously good versus big red spells like Rolling Thunder or Fling, its ability to flash back makes the power of this card border on being absurd. Rancid Earth's dual nature with regards to its threshold bonus makes your sideboard feel like it has access to 19 cards. Clearly a wonderful card versus Tron and other mana-hungry decks, it's also a great board sweeper for small creatures. Relic of Pregentius is a necessary evil in many sideboards and metagames. Remember you can trip this while your own graveyard recursion spells are on the stack. For example, Raven's Crime, buying you a card and saving your own graveyard synergy. Serrated Arrows is especially mean with effects that can return it like poor Skyfishers. This card can really put the brakes on opposing tactics, usually gaining you a 3 for 1 advantage. Shrivel is one of the most feared cards in Popper. Because it actually doesn't do damage, it's almost impossible to prevent. Be careful when you cast this, however, it's usually best before attacking, as it affects your creatures too. Snuff Out exemplifies sneaky removal and shines versus Kiln Fiend style decks. It's wonderful for stopping recursion loop combos even when tapped out. Standard Bearer can be gruesome versus decks like Stompy, Elves, Hexproof, etc. The play mistakes and game tempo this card causes are legendary. Stormbound Geist is a superb option for blue mages in both the mirror as well as heavy removal deck matchups. Silvok Lifestaff is a bastion of hope against damage. Brilliant in creature combat. Be careful when playing this as it can really make games go long. Remember to watch your clock. Veridin Longbow is magnificent for the same reasons Gutshot is, only with the Longbow, you get to keep doing it. Finally, Wretch Mind is the closest thing Popper has to the staggering power of Hymna Turok. So much so that many of our designs, when warranted, include artifact lands just in case we run into this. The magic of Yavamaya. Now in your kitchen. Mutani Spaghetti. The only noodles whose power and tastiness are equal only to their legendary ingredients. Our pasta is made from only the finest weather sea, imported from Dominaria straight to your dinner table. Enjoy Mutane Spaghetti. Combine it with our signature of fellow's cheeses and finish it off with a glass of sweet Rashida. Mutane the magic of Yavamaya in every bite. Available at Morasa's Market. And we're back. Sorry for the wait, guys, but we timed it just right because our next opponent showed up. So we're one and one. Hopefully, uh, if you're new to Propaganda, some of you out there, chime in, let us know what you thought. Uh, we got two lands, both coming to play tap, three creatures, some pump. We'll keep Mike Man. <laughs> Is this Mike Man? Because we're playing against Mike Man 1503. I didn't know it was such a popular moniker. All right. And thank you for the props. If it is you, keep. Alrighty, here we are. We we got Mike Man in the house. Mike Man against uh, across from the table, surrounded by Mike Mans. All right, great video says Dink Daddy. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I'm the OG. All right, well thank you for that. I appreciate that, Dink. This isn't me. I just played against him. Nerd of the core. Oh, alrighty. Good to see everybody. Thanks for chiming in. Thought it was all it's all quiet out there. Well, this is going to be a very fast match, isn't it? This, uh, I would assume, Burn might be a little favored in this one, depending on, it's very draw-dependent, but because of uh, 
you know, we, we got to wait for our life tech later on, but we do have access to Pulsa Marasa in game two and three, as well as our uh, nature's claim tech with our own lands, our rancors, or if we're really in a very tight pinch, we, well, we can, you know, hit our own Eckerclaw Mur for, for life. So very good. Dun, dun, dun. All right. They're on Flame Rift Burn. Thank you for that, Nerd of the Corp. Don't give me too much, though. But it's nice to know that i got to watch out for Double Fire Blast. Ah, the discipline it takes to play. Hmm. Realistically, I'm just going to drop our listener. hopefully eat something for the Vines or win next turn. But, uh... Yeah, the discipline when people are able to fit in the curse of curse of the curse of fire, curse of the pierced heart, whatever you want to call it. Um, I guess you should call it what it, what it's called, right? <laughs> but uh, once those, uh, I know when I play burn, I set that and forget it, and it's like ah, oh, it pays so many dividends. But you always, it's like the first one you want to cut because you're like one damage. But it's like yeah, you can't kill somebody in one turn anyway, though. Ah, maybe I should be Mike Man, fifteen oh seven. You got nineteen seventy eight. Popular moniker, I tell you. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, nerd of the core! You didn't tell, you didn't send me any email about your stream. I would have gladly uh, hosted or or shared or whatnot. But we're doing the uh, what do you call a uh, rare Saturday night thing for us? I think when Little Fight and I started this silly project, we did this for like two or three weeks when it started off Friday Saturday combo, and it was a little too exhausting. So went back to this 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 uh, formula. All right, maybe we can eat two burn spells here. All right. Well, might have it. And we do have to watch out for uh, Fire Blast. If it comes to that, I think we might still have this either way because, uh, let's see, we got two, four, eight. Oh, no, we don't have it. Um, I'll just cast this hard like this. Is it going to eat something? Going to go in? All right. I'll set that out. Let something die unless he really wants to go ape here. The good thing about facing off against Burn is you don't really want to scare them too much because if they, uh, even if, but even if they do wipe your stuff out, that's less damage that's pointed at your head. So, and we are running on Earth and stuff like that. And we've got vines in the hand, so if he wipes us out, we save six damage theoretically, and we can play Ikerclamer with vines back up next turn. So, yeah, it's all good times. Yep. Oh, that's right. Yes. Little Fight, you and I have played this exact matchup. I, I should have the advantage, and the only thing I'm drinking tonight is tea, so three damage. All right. But again, you know, that's a healing solve. Got to think of it that way, guys. That's three damage less to our head. I do not like any list running this. No reason to run that. I've even uh, I've built Burn with extra land because of just basics, just to run a Shard Volley. All right, did he drop a land? Let me... He did, play a mountain. So we're not out of the woods yet. He's at three cards. We're at 12. But we'll have our, our Icker Claw coming up, hopefully for the for the win. We'll see. And we'll be at 11. You've always got that Hail Mary throw with the Fire Blast on your creature after you binds it. That happens sometimes. But Earl Grey Merchant Tea, yes. <laughs> Good one. Maybe that'll be our next commercial. I don't know if you were on Twitter or Facebook earlier, but I just posted kind of the sort of the end page. I'm getting that's about 90% there for our, our new uh, Galvanic Blast Breath Mints. That should be a good time. We really like Chris Bear, but it's not that great against this. I'd rather have the uh, keep them guessing with why we're playing black and, and uh, keep the vines back up here. This will be close. We've eaten, uh, we'd be at eight. If it wasn't for uh, playing in fact, so there's that gives you a little bit, a little bit of wiggle room. Again, n next turn we really want to nature claim our own rancor every turn, or on put it on their creatures or whatever. So, searing blazes, so OP. Yeah, that's another reason I, I like just twenty basics and burn is you can maybe play like two um, shard volleys, fire blasts, and then you're able to really rely on searing blaze hitting whenever you want it to. But yeah, two mana for three damage, and I don't know. Little Fight, you're kind of the resident burn expert. Would you play uh, 
lightning strike. I mean, I'd, I'd rather play a spark elemental over that and just time it right, and it's, it's still going to be cheaper. Uh-oh. Hmm. What's this? He's got a bolt behind it with fire blast, and it's over already? Could be. We'll see. The Pult says, whenever possible, between matches, do a short look comparison of mono green effect. Did you mention those unfamiliar? That's a great idea, Pult. I'll do that. Um, well, the moment of truth. I mean, if he does have fire, fire blaster, I doubt he's going to pull it on us, but he's getting a little timid there. He's got to love his flame rift tact against infect because he's like, I don't care if I'm at one life. We're at six. I think we got to win here. I don't think we can with this hand. And get him to eight. Maybe get him really, really scared, but I think the correct move here is just to attack. Hope he doesn't have it. Drop the crisp bear and, and go from there. It is so key to play this over the uh, rot wolf. Uh, the greedy builder amongst you is going to be like, oh man, stuff's going to die. I want to draw cards. Who doesn't want to draw cards? This deck tends to, if one block happens, the game's over. And in every other matchup, this is just so superior for its big backside. It gets around so much stuff. Even a flame slash, all of a sudden mutagenic is able to a, able to counter it. We only run two, but sure wish that binds was still in our hand. We'd have this game one. I still don't remember which one of you voted yesterday when I announced we're going to play some special Saturday Night Live version of Propaganda. Uh, the first one to chime in was for this Golgari Infect build. So but that's a good idea, Pult. I'll go over the um, pros and cons of, of both lists and uh, see what we got there. So like now if we had Nature's Claim, you know, we just sit on it, wait for them to overextend, and then zap our own Rancor, play it again. And like I said earlier, it's fun to just play that on like maybe their Thermal Alchemist and at the end of the turn, zoop, go gain four life and... Off you go. Eh, I shouldn't do that. Let's see. Hopefully the guy's just on lands. It better be on something because we're gonna we're gonna make him really sick next turn. Lightning strike is low value. I agree. Of course, little fights the guy that taught me the game, so of course we're gonna be uh, see eye to eye there. Yeah, I never figured out why lightning strike showed up in burn. Pult says the only reason I could see is a budget choice. Probably yeah. Uh... All right, what's this? Another searing blaze. Drop the land. Getting a little desperate. You can almost smell it. I think we saved this here. Hear me out. We paid two life for it. No, 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 because he might have fire blast. No, we got to let it go. For some reason, I thought I would still be at five. Well, even then, the upkeep. I just don't want to see another... Uh, if he bolts this, we can't really save it. Hmm. But we got to be obvious. We know he doesn't have Fire Blast because he would just kill us, right? Right to the head, we're at three, boom, we're dead. So he does not have that. So I am going to save it. Mold of three, thanks for chiming in. Playing Flame Rift isn't on a budget. He doesn't have any he's played a land already. No, I... I I'm, uh, I don't think we should let it go. What do you guys, we got plenty of time here. Let's have a little discussion. Uh, if he has Fire Blast, he's already got us. Um, or he would have already killed us. I think you save it, guys. Because if, if, if he does have Lightning Bolt here, that dies, and then he responds to Icker Clomer. We can't save it, and then we get eaten up by Curse. Yeah, three against Burn. No, oh, that's a good point, Nerd of the Core. I see on the upkeep, we, if he does have burn. All right. I appreciate that. That's that's good insight. Yeah, because if we do, uh, logic being, if I do save that, go to four, then I'm at three, and then if he does have a lightning bolt, he can choose to just zap me then. So, all right. But either way, I mean, we're going to lose our we're gonna lose our dude, but at least we, uh, That's that was a really interesting little scenario there. I like the deduction of knowing that, you know, he obviously doesn't have Fire Blast in his hand, so that's a good feeling. Hopefully he's holding f Fire uh, Rift or Rift Fire or whatever, rift, blah, whatever that four damage each each creature dude is, but we'll see. All right, let's see if we can win this one. Game one, this is a Nail Biter, pretty cool. Went Mer plus Growth win next turn. Yeah, but, you know, he, he could still still kill it. My, my logic was that... Uh, He's definitely dead if if we uh, save it because we've got just a natural in. But 
that's not really that true either. I mean, he could have still responded to it. So I'm glad I slow rolled that a little bit there. All right. We're obviously going to cast this. Does it kill him? Drum roll. See, that's what I got to add to propaganda. I got to have little videos I can cut to that just insert and just little like people waiting. All right. So we're up one against burn. Now it should get easier. I'm going to bring in Pulsa Marasa and all four nature's claims. Now, what to lose? What to lose? I'm going to lose a, a Vines of Vastwood. I don't want to see one early. I want to just be kicking them. We want to keep our Rancors in. Normally you would think, oh, we're going to lose that. We're not really going to be blocking much. But if we run up against Thermal Alchemist, um, who are very good at making Flame Tongue hot sauce, by the way, uh, we want to be able to trample over it and also be able to activate it with our Nature's Claim and kill stuff. Mutagenic, you kind of knee-jerk reactions to take that out, but they're going to be bringing in uh, Electricery. We, we have Mer uh, Chris Bears to kind of keep track of that. So I'm going to lose an Unearth. I think I'm going to lose a Mamba. I need to lose two more cards here. I'm going to lose one more Vines. And a Groundswell. And I'm liking this build here. Not going to get as much value out of Plague Stinger, but we'll see. And we can, we can draw into maybe we'll cycle in response, grab a pulse, something like that. Let me catch up on that. I think Unearth is bad here. You don't have a ton of removal. Don't lose Mamba. It lives through Electricery. Well, it's only late game. That's why I want to keep three. I don't want to see, really see one early. And uh, we are going to have stuff die, so I do want to have Unearth so I have the access to draw stuff. To Unearth and grab a Font. Nah, Font's a little too slow against Burn, my friend. Not liking that one. Yeah, if you have Unearth targets, you're perfectly, you're already winning, all right. Yes, but let's not forget the other ability. And if I'm in a pinch, it, I, I want to be able to cycle that. Um, have a little bit of blue access in the deck. Um, and it turns into the best card in our graveyard. So, hmm, 59 seconds here. I'll tell you what, I'll kill one more on Earth. Not crazy about bringing in the other Mamba, though. Eh, my hunch is... Hmm. Alright, I'll bring in the Mamba. Not like, because it's not like we're going to regenerate that if it does run in Electricery early. Eh, I'm going to go back to my Unearth plan. That just doesn't feel right. Alright, dude, the deck might really be like Supernatural Stamina. <laughs> Yeah, it does seem to have staying power. I've had people rage against me when I'm playing this because it's just it just keeps coming, and they're like, well, "Little fight can attest." We've we've played tested this a lot in the in the past, and uh, there's there's some times when this is looking really good. We got double claim with a rancor. Our mana's right. Uh, good times. We'll keep this. Only thing better is if this was a jungle or the guild gate that gives you one life. That would be kind of nice, but we'll see. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, two o, yeah. There's so many uh, black instants, including that one in the new set that um, that all do the same thing. Two o regenerate. Two this. Two that. Um, nothing beats green for for the pump that we got. I, w I wouldn't trade any of the spells. So I'm not going to go out of the. It, it's like you know going into red to find a draw spell. It's just why when we've got green. But appreciate the uh, heads up there. Here's a good example. We don't have our one drop. And so you think like, oh, come to play tap, but you know, look at this. We got we got a turn two play, and that's all we'd have if we had traditional infect. So keep that in mind. The only time this feels slower than infect is when A, you have Glistener Elf in your hand, and two, you have, you know, come to play tap. Jeez. Oh, okay, my phone's going crazy because uh oh. My son is is losing. They're undefeated so far in Vegas, but they're they're down sixteen twenty four for all of those of you that, that care, probably none of you. He's quite the baller, though. Definitely doesn't get it from me. All right, we like this. Now, what's cool about going second in this is oftentimes burn. We haven't even taken any damage yet, but oftentimes burn, he's pretty much sitting on electricery. You can just feel it here. Um, what was I going to say? Oftentimes burn, you get that vibe of, um, you know, they get to that second mana, and then they, then they can hit you if they're going second. But when they go first, uh, we're, not, we're not too worried about... Um, what do you call? Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wait on this one. 
We're not, we're not too worried about uh, Searing Blaze. We're more worried about Electricery. And if he wants to slow roll us, that's fine. The longer the game goes, I think it might favor us. Well, the three says, I love some basketball. Yeah, that kid's the point guard on an Earl Watson elite team. Uh, he gets... Uh, they're only allowed on it if you get really good grades too, and they don't they they're not messing around. They mean it. And lucky for me, he's a nice 4.0, so smart boy. Proud daddy, all that good stuff. And a deck that dies if its creatures do. So I think we'll favor the uh, plague stinger next, and then um we'll just have Groundswell to save it from electricery. And if it lives, we'll be able to uh, start gaining some life. Nope. This is good. Might be a little paranoid, you know, thinking he's holding that electricity, which is probably pretty true. He probably is. But, you know, there's something to be said, too, for electricity at this stage. It's like, well, if he, it will cost him a turn there, so. However, now, you know. Now, this. I will admit, as a deck designer, this is when I did want to draw a basic here because I'd like to gain the life, but I need I need to uh, I need to have backup with the uh, groundswell here. So, what do you guys vote for here, Stinger or Mamba? I'm not hot. I'm just doing this to avoid any sort of glare. I'm anticipating. It's the worst thing about being bald. Sometimes you look like you have some chrome dome. Anybody out there? The idea. I like the idea of poppers as a little fight, but I'm talking about what creature do we drop here? Community effort here. We're one and one. Up one against Burn. Mamba says if he plays. Anybody second that? You guys are, have all these ideas until I ask, and then it's crickets. Stinger, stinger. All right, two to one. I'm going to give about three more seconds. Mamba has more value. Stinger. All right, stinger it is, guys. And hopefully he's not hoarding a land with a, uh, you know, what on it. Searing Blaze, that's what I'm talking about. Now I do wish we had Vines. Do you want to play that when it's kicked, man? All right, Stinger gets the vote. Thank you for that, guys. Gosh, I wish one of these days, I'm always complaining about that with, with Twitch, the lag is just great enough. It's it's kind of an issue. That's what we didn't want to see. Take three. Loser dude. Dead meat. All right. At nine. Effectively 13. Really wanted to see him drop a creature there. I'd put my own Rancor on it there. Same sort of logic here. Hmm. Drop it. Don't drop it. Ooh. Wish we had our artifact lands, don't ya? Four cards in hand. Now here, I'm in favor of dropping it, as we can uh, we can avoid electricery, or we can at least eat a three damage spell that would point to our head, knowing that he's running the uh, and he's he's probably to the tilt if he has another rift or flame rift in his sideboard. He probably brought that in just because he doesn't have to worry about life loss. So. No, we want the regenerator. I know the I know in in theory you do, but against the clock, I almost want to use the Mamba as a sacrificial lamb. I can save it from electricery. Regeneration Nation, you guys think I should sit on it? I feel really dumb if he just burns us out here, and three of that could have been prevented, and then we draw something that we could maybe our artifact land or whatnot. I just jam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> huh? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the Mamba. You're at 10. That's what I'm saying. Kind of sorry for the echo chamber logic there. I know I was kind of waiting for somebody to agree with me, but this is my, my money after all. Or my credits, I should say. Actually, I think I spent a ticket today on all the new uh, Amonkhet cards. I think I spent like $1.70 on pretty much four of everything, just in case anything that looked like, oh, that might be good later on. We'll see. Yeah, I've, I've tried that, but I'll um, I'll keep it in mind. I thought I had. Did he play a land? Son of a gun. He did play a land. Yikes. All right. Well, 
Proves me wrong. Of course, it would have been dreadful seeing him with one more card in his hand, being like, oh my god, he might have it. Uh oh, is he going to pull even? Fire Blast for the win? Nope. Or maybe he's just extra cruel. Ooh, boy. Where are our artifact lands? Come on now. Probably should have held that. All desperation mode here. I don't think we're going to live past this turn. Down a three and probably the bolt to the face. Yeah, I should have nature's claimed that in case of the bolt. I'm just on a... Coffee's wearing off. Apologies. I feel really dumb if I don't have that. We'll do it next turn. But we'll wait for the bolt here. Dun, dun, dun. Gonna zap our own land. Is that what it's gonna take to win? Hopefully we get another one. It'd just be nice to have a Rancor here. All right, we'll claim ourselves. And I think it might be worth it at this stage to claim our own, um, claim his uh, curse. I don't wanna go to three. nice when a deck does what it's supposed to. What do you guys think? Zap the curse? I think so. Whack. Go ahead and gain four life. You gotta beat me with fire blast. Let's sit there on your electricries. Woohoo! Oh, but we don't really have a target for it, do we? What we want to see here is a thermal alchemist. Now we can rancor it and gain four life. It's another nail biter. See, holding... Whoa, man, it's getting close. Whew, deep breath. <laughs> Cut the tension with the knife. Love this stuff. You got it. You got it. You sitting on lands. What you got? All right. This is what we want, baby. Time to get. Yeah, we're going to go Mamba on this one. Well, you know, at this stage, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'd rather uh, make sure it's going to kill him. I'm going to actually draw Plague Stinger. Maybe we can draw out his, uh, when I play Rancor on it. I think that might have been a mistake. We know he's probably running um, Electricery, and he's probably sitting on him, and that's why we're not dead yet. How good was on Earth? If it wasn't, we would cycle and get something else. Come on, sucker. What you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. No soup for you. Dun, dun, dun. You got another one? Well, this guy's like the king of... Uh, what's he doing? Oh, he's just hitting us for one. Look at this. Oh, we can't do anything about it. Nicely timed. I was like, what's he doing here? Uh, yep. All right. Nothing we can really target there. We're one and one against Burn. Called that one pretty much right. Handful of electricery and waiting around. All right. Hmm. Wanted to see vines. I'll cut an er unearth and put in a, a third vine. And I'm just going to do that. Ugh. All right. One and one. Here comes the tie break. All right. They're within 10 now. <laughs> Not so for you. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on. Not much to think about. Well, I'm undervaluing regeneration because it only it's only relevant around turn five up, and uh, if I'm still alive, then I uh, <laughs> I've got three there. That's, I don't want to see one early because it'll just end up in the yard. So I think I think losing one, decent there. Only got 18 lands. It's not so much about making our stuff survive. It's about bringing it back with this build and hopefully gaining some life in the process. And we had a good hand, let's not forget. So he got us through a good hand. Yes, we would like to play first. Mm. Got nice defense. We don't have much else. I'm going to mulligan this. Ugh. Ugh. 
I'm gonna mulligan this because we don't. If I had one life thing, I would I would keep this. So we're on the draw. I mean, we're uh, we're gonna be able to use the mulligan trick. But okay, we got life, life, creature, boom, pal. We'll keep. Really gonna try to dig for a land here. Oh, what a kick in the crotch this is. We gotta throw this on the bottom, even though it might win us the game if we had app, app mana. But so here's where the deck does feel slow, right? We lead with the tap land, and we've got our little one dude out there, which we're gonna roll right into his tempo if we. Uh, Play it next turn with a Searing Blaze, but what you gonna do? Yeah, hopefully it does stall. I hope. One one. This is always kind of up in the air. Whoever draws better, and he definitely seems to be drawing better. I don't really want to play this because we either walk into one Electricery. Or two, uh, Searing Blaze. Sings on Earth, pulls all my boys from the yard. Yeah, what do you guys say? I think we should lay Seal of Strength and relax. Yeah, it does. It, it protects against electricity, but um, it's more like that Alpha Strike protection. I'm going to play the... Uh, it's just because of what turn it is. I, I'm almost positive, or clairvoyant, whatever you want to call it, that he's got Searing Blaze. And uh, I want him to play that land and then have to search for it. So we're just going to drop this now and go for it. Yeah, I'm sure it, it will die within the next two turns. So I think Pulse, uh, I mean, we have to draw a land for that to be relevant. I usually am pretty super aggressive too, but uh, I don't know. One good thing about aging, I'm getting a little more uh, patient. Of course, for me, that's probably somebody else's impatience. But like with elves, I tend to play that a lot more defensively, kind of like a combo deck, whereas a lot of people just want to get that gigantic elf like we saw in game one. And against us, it works, but I find it doesn't work against most decks because they just throw dorks in front of it. And unless you have, I've often thought about in elves playing Llanowar uh, Augur because it's an elf. It's a zero three. It blocks ninjas all day long and, and mono black and RDW. And then you sack it. And when you do have those eight eight dudes and you give it trample and three more, might be kind of cool. Play some Wirewood Heralds. Oh, I think yesterday I called a jacked up old man in the forest. I was, <laughs> got some laughs. Good stuff. There's that land. Yeah, you sit on your searing blaze. Hmm. The flame rift. All right. Hey, look. How poorly is this deck designed? We've done more damage to him than we have in effect. What am I thinking? Alright. Green for this. At least we can live through Electricery twice. Make him at least burn a one, one spell on it. Let's see. So the Flame Wrath feels like a bolt because of the uh, Jungle Hollow. I think the last time I played this deck competitively was back when I think there were only four rounds and it went 4 0 one time. But I think I ran two duress main at that point. I can't quite remember. And I was, I was really, the, the main inclination for playing this deck was Blessing of Leeches, if somebody wants to bring that up on MTG Bot. Blessing of Leeches has flash, it's two and a black, and you regenerate a creature for zero as so many times as you want. But every single time it's your turn, you lose a life. There it is. For one. That is for one, right? Let me double check. He did not play a land. Okay, so I feel really uh, vindicated here. My clairvoyance proved optimal there because we know that was my reasoning for not playing that uh, out early. So we're only going to take one from his uh, turn two spell here. Our creature lives. All right, let's we'll see what's going on here. I'm not quite sure if we should pitch it when, if. All right. Could be worse. We'll go from here. I think we might want to get in with damage when we can here. Um, what do you guys say? Trip it or let it live? If we let it live, he kind of can't do anything, and we're going to keep erasing stuff, and we'll have a... Uh, what do you guys say? I promise I'll listen to whoever... Uh, <laughs> Chimes in. Won't be an echo chamber this time. Ah, I already have something behind my ear. Got 11 minutes to win this one. It's all right. 
Hmm. Even if your opponent zaps the elf, you pop the seat. You don't want this game to go long looking at your hand. Save it till you win with it. All right, I'll save it. I was favoring that too, but I didn't want to say anything. In case your Krita dies. Yeah, well, it's there kind of as an insurance policy too to keep it from dying. But this is a neat scenario because this is like anti-lightning bolt. It's like, what you got? Or if he drops another land and he's got another one of these guys. This Searing Blaze sure seems to like this guy. He seems to have had all of them. You can use it to make sure Rancor sticks. That's a good points all around. I'm glad I'm listening to you guys. The hell do I know? Maram Ar Manri Aram, thanks for joining us and chiming in especially. He can beat the uh, bearer with the seal back up, right? The bearer, the bearer. Uh, that take at least two spells. Well, the, the seal in a pinch too can also be nabbed by nature's claim. There's a lot of targets for that. It's just we need to draw it. But we get a land here. We'll probably let our elf go just so we can gain the six life. Because you talk about kicking the crotch. Oh, I mean, what did we have a few jokes a few months ago about the Church of Marasa? It was like we were all so adamantly into this deck. I have never been more right about a card than that one. All right. So what we got here, boys? Going to get you some. This will be interesting. If I trip it in the electricries, we have the win. Oh, what do you say here? Woo! We trip it. He responds. We Vastwood. That's the win unless he has... Uh, he could have two lightning bolts. There's a scenario. We haven't seen any yet. He can have Fire Blast and really go all out. What do you guys say? Trip the seal? Wait for electric. That's the optimal. If we trip the seal and he electricries, then we really got him because he'd have to sacrifice his entire board for fire blast to keep stuff off of that in response to the vines. But pop the seal in response to the vastwood. That's what I'm thinking. But what do you guys think? Yep, yep, yep. One more and we're good. Like the community. You guys, we should all pitch in money and then we can all share in the wins if we get any. But all right. I'll pitch it. Let's hope for electricry. Kill, kill, kill. Since so Popper, I like this guy. Popping locks is more of three. <laughs> nice. Pop it. All right, we popped it. Seal of strength. Yeah, but we don't have the land. We're out of the woods against this deck. This is so funny. We're playing Infect on Burn, and we're getting into the single digits on time. How ridiculous. Shows how kind of uh, intensive this can be. All right. So he plays the terrible spell. Hopefully we'll make him pay for it. Let's see if we get a concession or if it's a fire blast and he resets his board. Either way, we kind of win this one. If he fire blasts, it's... Can't blame him if he's got it. It's got to stay alive. I mean, he's dead if he doesn't. Yep. So hopefully we draw a land and we can go into Chris Bear Country and then have uh, Pulse of Marasa come back. But we're at 16 and our opponent doesn't have any land, so... Mike Man says, Shabadoo and Boogaloo Shrimp. All right. <laughs> Not quite sure what it means, but good times. No land. No land. Come on, everybody do this. All right. We got the mojo. Maybe we should be Kambaji Witches, huh? Land. You son of a gun. Come on. Can't I, can't I top deck something? Why does Burn always have Fire Blast? Yeah, it's like, why? Uh, more so than that, why does Affinity always have Galvanic Blast? I That just is a constant in my life. Good grief. All right. Got your electricery right here. He's probably got one, and he's going to have to hard cast electricery and drop his mountain. But he's only at three. We, that's no way we do the land dance if he plays. Now, yeah, get some some cool land. Oh, here it is. Hard up electricery. Nope. Got a bolt out of it. I like that. All right. And we're into the land business here. Now, even now, I don't want Mamba. See, that's that's kind of why I wanted to cut the one, because I want to have five, six mana so I can really regenerate it, not play defensively and regenerate it. All right. All right. 
I'm going to play our big fatty in case he's holding electricity. This will at least eat another three. Kind of have this this one once we can get Rancor to stick. That felt good because he didn't have a lightning bolt. He might have a chain lightning here. That's probably my, my guess. Iron your shirt and polish your shoes. We in business, says if he plays. All right. We sure are. We've got the goods now. Here comes four. Here comes four. Going to give you some more. We're going to go get... I think we should pulse now. Because he's got just some crazy... What could he have? He could do eight, technically, with... Uh, but then he'd have to sacrifice his lands. That's, that's kind of folly. What do you guys vote here? Pulse now. Pulse later. Play Glistener Elf. Who knows? Play Glistener Elf. I think is the play because we can always nature's claim our rancor. We're not that down on life. Yeah, I'll play this because if he if he can kill the Chris Bear with his one land, we've got him. We got him against the wall here. We'll see. Can't blame him for trying. He he went all out with that fire blast. I mean, he had no choice. He had to. We're going to go up 2-1 with Super Rogue Deluxe. Golgari Love. Well, we got him either way, so I'm going to Nature's Claim right now. My Rancor. We're going to get it right back. Probably a misplay. I like to feel safe. All right. All three gets us it, so we don't really even need it. I think we're out of the woods here. I have never seen a burn player win a game casting Fire Blast before lethal. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm with you there, Popper. How cool of a name is that, too? I should have had that name, Popper. Mr. Popper, who knows? That's some hard to spell uncapitalized crap all right he's got that okay lightning bolt hits we've got this kind of want to pulse next turn play that on this and then we will uh, pulse a marasa for I don't know Feeling all right. He's got to kill it. Of course, we could nature's claim in response to him killing. Oh man, it's a two-point game, guys. There, ten minutes left though. Did he play land? I was looking down. Mountain for that. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna get rid of pulse now. One, two, three. Let's get our big fatty back. Do this in response. Maybe get a concession. Six is a lot of life when he's when he's forced to just keep killing everything that we got. We're at seven minutes. I gotta watch out. <laughs> There's always the double fire blast as the Pult. Yes. And thank you. A little shout out to the Pult on uh, uh, Discord. You've really been uh, coming up with some great commercial ideas and cool little good advice all right one two one two well that's kind of cool huh we'll go one i'll play it safe only a bolt will kill this i don't want to walk into it. hopefully he's just got a handful of electricery and he's kind of overdoing it that way regardless we're just going to keep we're at 19 against burn we're going to keep eating his burn probably until until he doesn't have any left i don't never know he might be able to get out of this already at three lands again he's probably got this handled now is when we want Mamba. All right. Oh, there's that. Hmm. All right. Well, at least we can nature's claim our Icker Claw if we have to, but I'd rather do it to the uh, Rancor. All of a sudden, this guy feels like he has a little life, doesn't he? Tim Thermal Alchemist is out. I'll bring this out. Let's 
Game over if you can't deal with it, but gosh, I was out of vines. WTF says, what a fight. Yep. It's for real. Clear, clear. Sorry, I've got multitask central here. This is a crazy game. I'm glad, glad we're playing it. Glad you guys have all joined us and doing the whole popper thing. Popper Saturday night. Saturday Night Live popper. That sounds pretty good, at least in the States here. I don't know if that's as popular over overseas or whatnot, but smash to smithereens. Not before I can get it. I'll kill it first. Take that. I think I still take the damage though. How's this worded? Smash to smithereen deals three damage to that artifact's controllers. But is that only if it's destroyed by the smash to smithereens? We shall see. I want another smash. Nice. Look at this. Boy. Acting like we got it and we might not. Now I'm curious if this smash to smithereens hits us. Do, do we still take three? We don't. Okay. Well, at least there's that. Brutal. Good times. Go here, and I'm going to keep Groundswell back. He's only got two cards now. We can even get out of Fire Blast range with Chris Bear, which we can't with Rot Wolf. Yes, the comeback is. Hopefully he doesn't have it. And <laughs> with Infect, it's Saturday Night Fever. Man, we have gained like, well, we didn't gain it at that time, but we've gained 10 lives, so... Keep in mind, we'd be at four without without that tech. Ooh, well, we got trample. What I hope is we draw a land here because it'd be really cool to uh, draw into a land and or hopefully he taps out. And our rank or sticks get the boost. We'll see. So close to Siskoms. Ooh, literal fever says the poet. <laughs> Cut the air with a knife. Now we're up a minute. Yeah, he's holding the land and electricity. That's what I put him on. You got nothing, baby. Uh-oh. You got something. Tapping out. Yikes. Getting nervous. One card in hand. One card in hand. We like this. Will it be enough? The most exciting game versus burn ever. Yes. <laughs> I'll have to put that in the uh, description when I upload it to YouTube. Pretty sure we got this. It's got one card in hand. It can only be Fire Blast, the only really relevant one here. And you thought artifact lands were a silly idea. Of course, the game where we had him, we lost that one, and we had a good opening hand. Glad you guys are finding this exciting. And what will be funny is if I trip the seal and then he fire blasts, and then we have the answer in Groundswell, unkicked, but Groundswell nonetheless. I only have to hit him for two here. Fire blast, yeah, uh, but this will this will kind of tell us if he's got it because. This will put it out of range of Fire Blast unless he has the answer right now, and then we can we can still because it'll be at five, and then the seal will come into play. Seven for one. He's hitting us for one. Is this where Fire? If he if he has Fire Blast, this will be the most exciting game ever played. <laughs> come on, have it for propaganda's sake. How cool is it that we're playing against a guy named Mike Man? Oh, he thinks he's got it. Oh! Next level! Gonna F6 ourselves and look like a 
evil minion whose plan worked out perfectly, which it didn't. That was way, very big props to Mike Man 1503 and to Mike Man 1978, our biggest fan. How cool is this? Boom, 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 crunch. Just enough to kill. If he had double fire blast, he could have just won. Yeah, if he had double fire blast, but he already played a fire blast earlier. There we go. All right, so we're up 2 1. Huh. You know what? I need to take a quick bathroom break. I promise this break won't be as long as last time, and I'll be right back. This program, Germs, is discussed in Chapter 622 of your textbook, which accompanies this series. Germs. Germs, germs, germs. Everywhere, germs. Dirty, filthy germs. But where do they come from? Germs originated in Germany before rapidly spreading throughout the rest of the world. They're basically a form of malevolent bacteria with one purpose, to spread germs. The liquor of ages, the tonic of conquerors. Find your spark. Gin and tonic, making men into giants since 1857. This weekend only, don't miss the 14th annual Popper County Fair. Featuring Bud Buddy's famous chili cook-off, Evan Carr Justice's free legal advice, Moments Peace Meditation Seminar, and much more. Then, rock the night away with the hottest bands, including Ancient Grunge, Tamir Battle Ragers, The Shredding Winds, Martyrs of Ash, The Distant Melodies, Architects of Will, The Blasted Herbs, and many more. Arrive before noon and get a free Marit Lager at the Guild Gate. Tickets on sale now. Cabolts and kids under 10 are free. The 14th Annual Popper County Fair. All proceeds to benefit the Spellstetter Speech Centers. And we're back. We're in a queue, and I was asked to review... Oh, well, I'll do that in a minute. Here we go. i got a nice little flow going here. Whew. Sorry for that tiny bit of dead air there. Bathroom break took longer than usual. I thought I had queued up a little longer video, but what you going to do? It was a nerve-wracking burn matchup. One of the best matchups ever on Popergan as far as a nail biter goes. So we have kind of feels like traditional infect here without black showing up. We'll keep this. Cavu to burr. Cavu tuber. Maybe he's a YouTuber or something. Who knows? I don't think I've played this guy before. We'll see. Got a really nasty hand if it pans out, depending on what he's playing. When in queue, you shall not review. <laughs> yep, that seems to be the curse. Kill this stuff here. Get our board space nice and fat again. I think we minimized it for uh, elves. Come on, sucker. What you got? Good grief. Maybe this guy's going to the bathroom. Is Sayo Koden in the house? The uh, Japanese player I played earlier from NBC. Oh, wow. They're tied at 61. Basketball update in Vegas. Two minutes left. Yowza. Nailbiter. Boy, I think maybe it's a father-son thing. I'm going to have these super close matchups just like we did with Burn. That was pretty cool. Oh, no. Not one of these guys. Yeah, these are like death streamers. It's like, dude, come on. I almost want to just give him the win if he's going to make a boring... All right, so off to the deck review. Wait for this jackass. Oh, there he is. Good grief. All right, we're going up against Hex. It's in no hurry either. Oh, come on. What else do you got to do? <laughs> I'm going to play like Eeyore. I'm going to get you. 
Here come Sloan. Here come slowness. Uh, this guy's killing me. Come on, I can't even get coffee or I'll lose I'll lose too much sleep. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's like my kryptonite. Most impatient person in the universe. Come on, Hex, what you got? If he blocks you, we know he's got more. All right, well... I'm gonna let it go. We got the other goods here. Wonder if he's playing with an abacus. Nothing puts me on more tilt than slow players. Oh, ditto. Blossoming sands. Let's think about. Ah, oh, God, this guy. Jeez. I officially don't like Cavu Tuber. Sorry to be rude, but you suck. Hopefully it's your internet connection and it's... Good lord. Oh, now I'm pinwheeling. Maybe it's me. Maybe I spoke too hastily. Dun, 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 dun. Waiting for Cavu. Yeah. Hell, oh, it's working, Mike, man. Uh, it's just, it's such a bad show when somebody's this slow and rude, but hopefully it's some outstanding circumstance or something he can't control or, heck, maybe it's my connection. Somebody say something so I know it's not me because I see his clock going down. No, I don't actually. His clock isn't moving. And mine isn't moving. Do I need to reboot? Give this another minute. Maybe I take all that back. Hmm. Just a sec here. Not that, no. Strange. Oh, I never had this happen before, I apologize. Can somebody chime in just so I know if it's a navigation or not? Moto high quality program, Mold3 says. All right, you guys are still there. Hmm. Moto's dead. Is it Moto or me? You guys see, is anybody else playing? All right. I don't need to check for a damn solution. Just close. All right. I'm going to kill this. Kill this. Just a sec. Hopefully you can still hear me. We're bringing it right back up. And hopefully it wasn't our opponent there. Get the longest password in history. Works like a... Apologies. Hopefully it was my end and not the opponent playing slow. I guess we will find out soon enough. There we go. And he's waiting for us. Maybe he's bitching at us, right? Let's hope. All right. Well, that was all me. My apologies. Unless he plays slow still, then I'll still get mad. Yeah, we have that background available, uh, Popper. I... Uh, Feel free to uh, send us an email, propaganda at gmail.com. I put out screensavers like, I don't know, seven, eight months ago and stuff. And a few of you wanted to grab them. That was good times. All right. So hopefully he plays a little bit faster and we'll see what we got here. Tempting, tempting. I'm just going to play the critter game here because he's sitting back on a. wants to block one of them and I might be able to go alpha soon, but. I love my Ancestral Mask, but that is sick too. Yeah, the new Ancestral Mask artwork is pretty cool, but yeah, I did a variety of them. We got a Swamp theme one that I have at my, my workplace PC, and then that one's just kind of the steel background, and I'll try to remember to play the uh, Playmats video, because if you're uh, if you're new to our feed or whatever, some people don't know about our Playmats. And so here's the new Cartouche card. You know, he gets a little 1-1, one, one, uh, oh wait, let's see. Yeah, he gets a 1-1 one, one White Warrior token and it gets first strike so you got a little 4-2 it's first striking no reason to do much there so we'll let him through for four and let's see 
It's all right. Might be a little close. Of course, we, we have a uh, moment's peace. Oh, here comes the cavalry. Might have this one if we don't get a rancor here pretty quick or black so we can just start flying over this stuff. But um, yeah, keep them honest here. Just flat up regen if we got to. Wow, that card is awesome. Uh, yeah, that one is. It, but I, I still wouldn't play it personally. I don't think it's a... Did I regenerate? Yes, okay. I was like, it said cancel. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Yeah, this just... Hexproof is too tight. This is great if it's a... Maybe if there's mono black everywhere and all you're running into is edicts, but my experience, mutagenic growth is kind of the uh, card you want to see there, especially for combat tricks too. Ooh, this is going to be close. What's he got? What's he got? He's got another creature. We're in good times country if he just passes the turn here. Of course, a little bit more damage, and he's in good times country. So we're going up against Hex. My apologies, Cavu Tuber. It was me the whole time, I guess. Or or magic. That's not, that's not point the finger too quickly at myself. Damn program. Making us have all this fun. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, that's not good. He's got a blocker. If he plays another one, he's probably got this game. All right. He has trample. He's got that. If he lets both of these through, we could have him, but he probably won't. Oh, good times. So let's do the math slowly. That's a five. Yeah, we got him. Guess this with kicker. Guess this here. Guess this here. Dead meat. Score update. Oh, they lost. First game they lost. 66-71. Darn. But dad won. All right. So, Moments Peace is gigantic here. We don't really care about Chris Bear. It's a little too slow. Same with Unearth. Probably lose two of those. Bring in four Moments Peace. And, uh, oh boy. What do you guys say? How many gut shots? Because if he drops a standard bearer, we might not see it and we're sitting there slow rolling with, but you don't, you don't want to be dead to standard bearer. I'm thinking maybe three. Prove that he's got it. This is a good replacement for Hyuna Umbra. Yeah, I don't even think Hyuna... I'd played over Hyuna Umbra, that's for sure, the pulp. But um, I just... You know, Hexproof is such a tightly knit deck. And this is your play style. I'm not saying the cartouche is a bad thing. Plus, I think... Uh, what was it? Paul Dyson was saying the other day, it's just fun to say cartouche. But it's... Like I said, if, if you know there's... The majority of the spells you're facing are going to be Edict, Edict, Edict. Then it's a great card. It's, it's wonderful. It deserves a spot. My argument for mutagenic growth when I play Hexproof is just, it's it's always relevant. Um, there's a lot of surprise wins when it's when it doesn't save you from electricery or shrivel or things like that. And you usually tend to have enough critters anyway, but. All right, let's focus here though. Vines is just dead meat. I'm gonna take out two vines, maybe even three. Yeah, I think we lose three vines here. Yeah, two gut shots is a good call. I'm thinking of running three. Because we saw a lot of stuff that can get in our way, too. So, you know what? I'm going to play all four, and I'm going to lose our Unearth. Not much stuff's going to die here. We've got one Vines, because it's not really relevant against them. It's just a kill spell, so we only want to see it once when we have the mana to pump it up for a 4-4. Four, four. Get two gut shots, two standard bears. And the reason I wanted to bring in four is because he had so many little 1-1 one, one dorks that got in our way. If, if Rancor doesn't show up, we'll be all right. And let's not forget we have Moments Peace, so we can uh, we can play the uh, waiting game. And, and we got the Flyer. We can block one of the few decks that can block Sohana. Not few. I mean, there's a lot of them, but in these colors anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There we go. So this, you know, and it feels good holding it. That's what she said. All right. Let's see. 
it's just a comforting thing seeing gut shot in your opening hand. But good grief, we have such a heavy hand here. I'm thinking of throwing this back. I mean, this is a good draw against uh, Demir, but let's throw this back. Yikes! Mulligan again. All right, kill. Now I have to listen to the peanut gallery for 50. Oh boy. I'll we'll keep this. No more, no. One more. All right, we'll keep this. Down to four. Jeez, oh, pizza. Gosh, I don't even really want that right now. Bottom. Dang, down to four cards. If we can pull this one off, it'll be good times. I'm glad I didn't keep that last, the, f the five-hander, though. That was just, uh... It just didn't, it wouldn't go anywhere. Only, only if we top deck a creature. Now how much do we wish we had that land, right? Of course, we wouldn't have drawn this till next turn to know that we were right, but not like we'd still have to do 10 damage to the guy here. I'm gladly going to run this into there. So after this. Might have scared him with that first thing, so he's probably going to block with the plant. Let this live, and then we can cycle the unearth. The end of the turn. No? All right. Take that. Crack. I would have thought he would have blocked there just because of the uh, sheer aggro he saw last turn. That's one thing this deck gets a little... Uh, people don't take it too seriously when they see the second the tap lands come down. They're like, oh, this is slow in fact. It's like, no, it's not. It's, it's not slow in fact. Now this would have been fun if that died to uh, gut shot our own guy so that he has to snag his own Silhana with it. That's always a fun play. All right, what do we got here? We got a cycle. Come on, land. Jungle Hollow. Something. Not that. Not enchantments. Of course, we can always sack that, but got to kind of wait on that one. Halfway to Dreadsville. Uh-oh, now we're really halfway to Deadsville. Really halfway. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we have an out here. I mean, if, what, we draw every moment's piece and don't do anything for a few turns? That would be pretty funny, right? All right. Well, we mold the four. Let's not forget that. So we won, lost. Hopefully this goes the route of burn and we win the last one too. Come on. All right. That program is just going... All right. We got that. We got that. I still like this list. It's just we, you know, we mulligan bad. That's all. Remember that first hand? We, we could have kept it, but it's just so creature heavy. Good against like mono black, Demir, that sort of thing where they're just killing everything every other turn, but not against Tex. Yes. Oh, we've got land and spades now, don't we? Mulligan this. All right, we'll keep. Come on. Hmm. Bottom. Really want to hit our land here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're 2 1 on the day. Those wanting to keep score. Hopefully, we'll go up 3 1 here. This is looking a little better. Seal. I think we should pop this gall out. I'm going to have some sort of first strike technology next. I'm going to pop it. Just in case he's got maybe journey. Get him running scared and wanting to block stuff. Got the mamba back up. We'll see. He's probably got some first strike guy. Okay. Cartouche or something here. Nope. There we go. We'll get it back. It's fine by me. Here it is. And yes, I will block that. Next proof runs low on critters. And if uh, it comes at me with like a Rancor, I will block that. No mercy. Yikes. Well, there's that. See, that's the dilemma, isn't it? It's like, I don't want to attack into that. All of a sudden, you're 
Well, that's kind of a bad idea, isn't it? I'll knock it down. At least make it a 4 4. I want to instigate the, the give and go here, the, the, the trading. It doesn't have first strike yet. More he blocks, the weaker that thing's going to get. Those counters don't go away. Let's don't forget that. I think he's flooded a little bit here, the little hesitation. He's probably pissed. He's like, God, I had like a 7-7. Seven, seven. Next turn, if I block, it's going to be a 1-1. One, one. So many play errors around infect and the wither mechanic. A lot of people just don't remember that coming into play or happening. And gosh, where are our, our moments piece? It's not like we're playing two. We're playing four, which feels like eight. God, it would feel nice to have one right about now. Another, maybe a jungle hollow followed by one of those. Get our mana right. Start swinging. I like this uh, hesitation here. Really like it. You know, it's interesting. If I attack and let this thing die, Rancor falls off and Ancestral kind of kills itself. Yikes! What a dilemma this guy's up against. If he's got Fog, he's got the game. If I got Fog, I got the game. He doesn't have Trample yet, though, which is going to be key. Or does he? Let's see. Nope. All right. Yeah, I could come over. Ooh, does he does he have the guts? I think you gotta hold back on this. Yeah. Boy, two really neat games in a row, eh? I think so anyway. I don't really want to play the seal of strength because it's gonna make that thing stronger, but I can pop it in response to something. Um Play this. I don't think we attack here. He's got. A, if he had trample, he would have played it. Otherwise, we'll block him. Oh boy, to play the seal or not? Oh, we got eighteen. Regardless, anything in uh, rancor, armadillo cloak, everything with that gives grand's trample will kill us anyway. Not playing seal, then block and pop on your creature. Yeah, that's true. I can always pop it in response to anything before super damage goes down. <sighs> Whatever super damage is. Now is when we want moments peace. Come on. Boy, two games in a row, just nail biters. Aren't these great? I love it. No trample for you. Let's hope. Can't get beat by somebody that doesn't play matching lands. Come on. <laughs> Another Rancor and we win it. Rancor. That's good. Yeah, I think we... What do you think? We attack with the uh, Rancord one, right? Bump this guy down a few notches. Still back him up. Still block. And what do you guys say? Attack with the Blight? Here comes Blighty. Blighty McWhitey. Now if I pop this, that'll get that'll get too weaker. Regen. I 
think I should pop it. Give me a 15 there. I'm going to pop it. My instinct's telling me pop it. Keep on popping. Now it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. All right, there's that. Now, Sohana can't block my flyer, but I can block theirs. Moments peace, come on. Where are you? Boy, this is a fun game, isn't it, guys? Two in a row, getting blessed with all these uh, wonderful plays. All right, now our tech's going to show up. Hmm. Block that, sucker. And I am going to run at it with the Mamba. Of course, now he's got the Young Wolf, though. Huh. But then the Rancor won't be there till next turn. Thinking of running at him... Yeah, they don't have Trample. That's why I've been kind of trying to ding into them so if one swing doesn't kill us. A Trample card doesn't kill us, I don't think. If I run at him, he blocks with the Young Wolf. And we've got the game because I, I uh, ground swell. And I think if we young at, run at him with the Blight Mamba, I'm not going to regenerate. I'm going to hold on to it so that there's less uh, uh, enchantments out and then I can win with the uh, Plague Stinger next turn. What do you guys think? I think that's the play. I run at him with Blight Mamba. Don't regenerate with the Rancord one. Do damage. Guarantee a survival. He's hellbent. Attack with Trampler, then play, replay Rancor. I'm going to wait a turn so that it doesn't... We don't run into a... Because Ancestral Mask is double triggered with our Rancor. And if he does do the uh, a silly block, we can just win. All right. Thought this through enough. That's the place is proper. I'd like to think so. All right. Well, stuff lives this way, doesn't it? Hmm. If that's the place, as 868 is in, why not cast Stinger in the second main phase? I just have it, I guess. Now to save it or not to save it. That'll be a two regardless. Five, it survives. Set back ten. All right. Uh. I'm leaning toward your end, Popper. Eight six eight six. What do you think? Thanks for joining in and chiming in, especially. It should be turn. He might have a journey to nowhere. Yeah, I'm going to let it go. Now that gigantic thing is only a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, the elf is ultra dead. Already back to an 8-8. Eight, eight. Look at that. Thing has nine and <laughs> wither counters on it. That is crazy. Got one card in his hand. Well, I'll block. I'm not just going to take two damage. I think this turns back in. There's some crazy stuff. I've never quite known the ritual here of a dying wolf is truly undying when it comes to regenerate. Uh, it just goes back to its first state and then all she wrote. I don't. Oh, good. Uh, I don't know why this guy's doing this. Now it's a no-brainer. It's like we win. And it just it doesn't develop the board at all. Finally, a moment's piece shows up. 
Good grief. And the back up. Looks like we're going to go 3 1 with this crazy road creation. It's hellbent. You know, I've, it might have been a moment's piece, but <laughs> yeah, the Polt says it right there. The last two games, that's some intense stuff. Crazy. This, this popper show sponsored by heart medication, right? Last one. Or 3 1 with the Golgari infect. I'm going to jump over real quick. Hopefully, our opponent doesn't show up super quickly here. Um, collection. There we are. Um, oh, we had to reboot. That's right. Of course, we had that thing go down. So, with infect, where is it? Infect Deluxe. I forget what I was asked to do with the, uh, the cause and effect with, uh, with these. Can anyone remind me? It was kind of a, a talk about both decks. Uh, oh, never mind. Guess one piece on your tech. Send a message. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We lost the very first round against elves. And we just didn't draw our flyer or evasion there. R and D function is our opponent, so we're at least gonna finish even money here. We're trying for a four-one. GG sitcoms. Mono green, mono black. All right, yeah, right on the edge of keeping. We're on the draw, so I'm going to keep because we've got our mana. If he kills it, we go get it back. By then, we'll probably be able to. We'll be all right. A little optimism look at the hand there. Compare mono green versus mono black. That's right. Well, mono black. I mean, uh, not mono black, but um, oh yeah, that's right. I said it wrong. You you wrote it right. Oh, looks like Boros. Let's see here. I'll do that right afterwards. Here, drop this. Now we're feeling really slow. This is, these are the hands when it does feel a lot slower. So that's one of the big drawbacks of playing Golgari is you have a lot of staying power with Unearth. You have Evasion with Plague Stinger built in. Font of Return in the sideboard is just nuts because you're able to just get back your three best things. Don't really care about life with either deck. Um, the main thing though is just when when there's Demir and anything out, anything out there, it's it's I think it's the superior option. I mean, how how horrible would it be to be worried about life right now? You just gained seven life in one turn. All right. This is just there to keep us from being hellbent. <laughs> ah, RND function is a discorder. All right. Good to know. But yeah, I mean, you sacrifice with hands like this, you do sacrifice a turn or two because you come to play and it's like, eh, you got Glistener out, but I'm sure it's not going to live through this turn. And even if it doesn't, we'll just go unearth it. Of course, that's not really our target. Boros technically could be a little bit of an issue. They got plenty of burn. They got journeys. They got all kinds of good stuff. They got air power. They pretty much got it all. So, good news is we don't really care about their life gains. So, come on, just give us a land here. I don't want to be unearthing a uh, Glistener Elf. It's going to be blocked all day long. Of course, you can say that too about Plague Stinger in this matchup with the Core Sky Fishers and everything else they've got. Yowza. You know, I think the play, well, if we had the mana, the play here would be to ditch that so we could unearth it later. But since we don't have a play, I don't want to just sit, sit around looking at nothing. At least eat another burn spell, make them think that maybe that's the only creature we've got. Little as you know, we got four more in our hand. Might eat another. He's only at three cards, four now. Maybe he's going to eat a lightning bolt, blast, something. Hey. So there's seven damage off our pallet. Maybe cost him a little tempo there. I mean, we had to discard anyway. So I don't really mind that play there. Hmm. I think I'm gonna walk to the beach after this. Get my legs moving. It's been really windy out here, so it makes for some pretty cool looking waves at nighttime. Get the ships out there. You can't really tell where the Cosmos ends and the ships begin. Sometimes it's, it plays tricks on your eyes with the ships at sea. It's pretty neat. Looks like we're going to lose this first game. <laughs> we're on the draw. We had our mana. Oh boy. Gruesome. Two, four, five. Uh, we'll give it one more roll here, but kill that. Terminator Elf, he's back. And he's gone again. 
Yeah, in about, I think maybe even like two weeks, we might have another Saturday night show just because my son has yet another basketball tournament. So I use his room. It's got the best audio, quietest, the best lit. Yeah, we're dead. Not going to string this one along. Big L on that one. But again, if we lose this one, we played even with Rogue Infect, Golgari Infect. I really like the deck. And hopefully it will show in game two. Alrighty. Do me some homework, somebody. Does that list run Standard Bearer? I need to know. Plague Stingers aren't going to be that good. Pulse of Morasa will be better than Unearth. That's the first thing. Nature's Claim. How many Journey to Nowheres do they have, guys? Is, there, is that a thing? I cut maybe one Vines, one Ground Swell. Two claims. Anybody? Haven't seen a Boros list in a while. I haven't done too much homework. I've been working on so much stuff at work and stuff. I don't know if they're favoring uh, uh, standard bearers and such. Sometimes I see them bringing the 241, but it's like the Terminator. There will be a handful of sequels. Somebody out there, come on. Only got a minute left. Taking out of binds, bringing in two claims made for Journey to Nowheres. I keep in our mutagenics for like trickery effects. Blight Mom was pretty good in this matchup, unless he's got the cold off the stuff going on. Rancor obviously stays. According to Goldfish, Cold off the Boris list runs a couple of bearers and two journey to nowhere. All right. So, hmm. I'm going to lose a Chris Bear. And uh, one more ground swell. I'm bringing two gut shots. Yeah, COP green I'm not too worried about. We've got eight creatures that get around that just naturally. There's another nice example of what to do. Three bears is a little fight. All right. Well, just to get rid of blockers, too. I'm going to lose another vast wood and bring in our third gut shot. And I think I like this. We've got one big fatty to get around electricery. We've got the other stuff. We've got Pulse of Marasa to kind of cover the unearthed territory. We can't really be countered on that stuff. It's not fast enough to really run a moment's peace try to win. Plague Stinger isn't that isn't that great in this this scenario. I mean most decks it's like wow look at that flying well just like last game it's like game over but you know they've got their eight flyers in this one and they keep coming back so uh, I have an R&D function I see your message if you see this later I'm not ignoring you it's just my hotkeys are all set up if I type to somebody in a match it, all of a sudden I start rolling a commercial so all right Chansey, oh boy, just gonna have to wait till turn three, I guess. Maybe hopefully we can uh, mess with his lands. Got our land right. I'm gonna hop to slow roll this. They don't beat you that fast, but yeah, I've been doing my homework on goldfish as much lately. All right, he's mulligan in. All right, obviously we lead out with our guild gate and pass the turn to an artifact land. Nope. Definitely going to hold back for Vastwood, so he has to use at least two two spells to kill our stuff. What we'd really like here is for him to drop a uh, Ancient Den and then uh, drop a Glistener Hawk or whatever, and then we sack it in response, and then he's got to eat a turn. That's always a fun play. Shiraz, are you still in the house or did you go to sleep? I wouldn't blame you. Of course, with the excitement of the last two matchups, pretty hard not to. Or like here, if that was an ancient den, it's always fun to zap it with nature's claim and then you're up gigantic against their stuff. But it's all these. I just love, love, love end of turn claiming a, a moment's, I mean, a uh, journey to nowhere. That is just the best. Just love that move. All right, we got electric reinsurance, and we got fines back up. Let's see. If we draw another 
basic next turn and he doesn't do anything, which is being awfully hopeful, we win. Even if he has COP rip green. This is a journey. I'm very tempted to not do anything with it. All right, so here's a neat scenario. Normally, I'd, I'd, I'd cast this to kick it, but it's rare that I'm going to draw the land next turn, so I, I kind of want to just uh, vines of vast with this. Not against Dicker Claw Murr, it's not. Boink. I know the mutagenic would work there too, but I want to keep that for like electricity bait when I'm in a situation just like this. Yeah, please drop a COP green. That'd be great. All right. I'm going to keep back on that nature's claim. Let's see. Hey, uh, ooh, hmm. And here is another neat scenario. You see how mutagenic keeps this alive even through a kicked galvanic blast. So there's that to be said. Here's the scenario. He's got his mana set right now. Gain all the life you want, sucker. That's what I'm fond of saying. I'm just going to cast my dude. What do you guys say? I think we just cast the man here. down. Here we go. Man, that's a beast. Strives to simulate natural life, but it can't resist improving the design. Exhibit A. Here we go. We'll take two instead of letting our guy die. It lives! Nice journey to nowhere shows up. But then we've got the end of turn this. Of course, we don't have end of turn anything, do we? Cast the creature. Yes, cast your net wide, says Mike Man. Good advice. I think Shiraz has hit the hay. I can't blame him. I think it's probably like 3.30 in the morning there. God, I wish I had a mana. See, you could just claim it. Zap, boom, pow. He's, it's out of there. Oh, well. He can't really block either of them anyway. It dies to this, it dies to this, because this gets plus two, plus two. Oh! Didn't see that coming. Son of a gun. All right. Surprised he chose that one. Hmm. So that's six. We could win next turn if we draw the right card. Let the pain train roll into the station. Man, double blast and a bolt in the opening... Yeah, not bad, not bad. Well, we got, I think we got, what's that, five, nine? Yeah, we got this if he doesn't block. We got vines back up. That feels pretty good. Don't have to worry about fire blast in this matchup, do we? I'll teach you to live, sucker. Pop! Boink. Where's your prismatic strands now? All right, one and one. Trying to go four one with crazy, weird, Golgari infect. On Earth is relevant in this matchup. I got to remember that. But nature claim more so, don't you think? Boy, we just did not see any uh, standard bears. It doesn't mean it doesn't have them, though. Hmm. Hmm. Ramosian Rally? <laughs> yeah. My uh, instincts are telling me to bring in one more nature's claim and lose it on Earth. 
not so much for us, but just for early disruption. Uh, I'd rather see the unearth. I can cycle into it. We didn't see much of the opponent's deck. Yeah, he ran over us pretty fast the first one. Then we got we got the jump on him the second one. Again, I think if we were playing traditional, just green, and, and nobody saw black, they would always block there. But I, I think there's an inherent, like, ah, oh, it's not that. And then, boom, it hits you just like green does. And it's like, nope. Challenge accepted, <laughs> Captain Nita. All right. All right, I'm just going to roll like it is. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have some commercials after this. And uh, I think I discussed the pros and cons of, of uh, the two, the traditional infect versus Golgari. If anybody wants me to elaborate on any points, let me know, and I will. All right. Boy, not not sure about this one, guys. Yeah, we got a flyer, but they got flyers. What do you guys think about this hand? I am right on the edge. I know they just, I'm sure they got, he's probably holding a Galvanic Blast and two bolts. Maybe a bolt, Journey to Nowhere, Galvanic Blast. And we're going to have to wait till like turn four cast a stinger which can probably be blocked all day long i think we ship this one back yeah we got our colors right we got our mana right what do you think am i going crazy this is for a uh, profit or break even if we lose this is this is it's all on this got 20 minutes got plenty of time what do you guys think chime in please remember the lag so do it fast just type something I'm really leaning towards pitching this, guys. He's got eight bolts. Blast. Ship it, says Mike Man. That's two for ship it. Ship. All right. Anybody for keep? Keeping three. Keeping two. Keeping one. Ship it. All right. Four to one. We're shipping it. I'd keep. Four to two. Mole. Drinker at MTGO. Thanks for chiming in. All right. We'll mulligan that. Ugh. Mulligan that. And we'll keep this. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. Hopefully we don't run into electricery here. <laughs> I just gotta just be reckless here. Just attack. Maybe he doesn't uh who knows, maybe he's mana screwed. We're gonna need some sort of help here. But at least we can cast a creature for the next three turns. Come on, stay off of red. Alright, we like this so far. Unless a prism comes down. There it is. Nice, consistent, draws a card. All right. Well, at least it'll keep him off our back. Maybe until our black shows up, we can start unearthing some stuff. We'll see. Come on, tap on out. A kid and his ant farm, says Little Fight. I'm not quite sure I get the reference. I should, though. I just haven't had enough coffee. With that creature in the aura, you can play around trickery and force a one for one. Not sure I get that either, but like I said, I'm lacking in the coffee persuasion. Come on, just give me a basic. Let's get a dude out there just so it feels a little scary. Ain't over yet. One one. The only deck we've lost to is elves. That's what I mean. This deck, every time I play it, I'm like. I get that itch where I'm like, ah, I'm just going to play traditional infect. And then I like this play a lot because at end of turn, if we do draw our stuff, I'm going to act like we're kind of a wounded animal and hopefully draw an alpha strike. End of turn, nature's claim, and then we, we win. I've got 10 turns with this scenario here. So looks like he's a little mana screwed, so that's good times. All right. I got the goods here. The myrrh look like ants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ants on steroids. Hopefully he has to play his uh, prism again. I'm mean, running into a little bit. It's not all bad luck. I mean, we have drawn pretty badly here, especially that first one. No mountain, no mountain, no mountain. All right. I think you got a sucker. Check this out. Oh, man. This could, this could go Nova pretty quick. Nature's claim, nature's claim. Yeah, it'd be nice to have have one just in stock. So, all right, okay, okay. Ooh, he must have. Ooh, 
Let's see. Well, even a Galvanic Blast doesn't do it, because he's only got one artifact. I'll save that for electricery or maybe a galvanic blast. If we've got a, if we've got a lightning bolt, I'm screwed. I could take four instead of two and kill his dude. That's a tough, I, I like that play he did where he just attacked. You know, it's like you can't really block. It's still going to hit you just as hard. Please be a galvanic blast. Got the mutagenic answer. Now he's up against it here. Guess another creature. I can uh, double gut shot and get rid of uh, one of them. Might have this one. What's this? Does he play Sunlands, maybe? Okay. Well, maybe he attacks here. Either way, I'm going to kill something. If he attacks, I'm going to... Oh. All right. Let us kill the hawk. Be pretty funny if we pull this one off, right? Another 4 1 with a crazy infect build. But what I was saying is this deck. Every time I uh, I think of, oh, I'm going to play Golgari Infect today just by myself, I always talk myself back into, no, I just want to be the problem and, and be really ultra aggressive with this deck. And then I play uh, Traditional Infect and I get I walk into Demir or Red Blue Control and I'm, I just, you know, they're at nine, nine counters, they're at eight counters, they're this, they're this, they're this. Yeah, I know we, we got this one unless he's got some crazy trick, but... Um, and R&D function, thank you, f fellow Discorder. I did not mean to uh, ignore you. It's just my hotkeys, as I explained earlier. So I think we go 4-1 with Golgari Infect here, guys. Plop. Check this out. So we only lost the very first, first round. Been a good weekend. Went 5-0 with uh, Elves earlier. And, boy, it would have been nice to do back-to-back 5-0s live. But we get the uh, we get the profit. Changes I would make uh, after what, what we just had go down. Um, evasion. I think uh, this might need, heaven forbid, like Apostle's Blessing. I, I didn't want to play that because, for, for a variety of reasons. But anyway, um, I'm going to run over the deck list real quick, roll with some commercials, and then we're going to call it a night, guys. But hey, man, it's been about two and a half hours since we went there. Uh, yeah, I think the Pult said it right there. Um, those were some those were some really fun matchups. I mean, those that, uh, that Burn and Hexproof game, boy, that's just going to be... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to replay it. Um, see, I'm sure I'm going to see a bunch of bunch of errors here and there and stuff like that. But um, anyway, so yeah, man, we're what? Uh, what is that? Nine and one this week out of two tournaments. So that's that's pretty deluxe, especially when one's completely rogue like this. So um, what I might change in this list, maybe maybe one less gut shot, one less piece for maybe like uh, some sort of evasion tech against what we ran into L's because waiting on a plague stinger was it might have been a bit folly there. Um, who knows? We'll see. But um, anyway, yes, this SNL stream. Um, I'm going to roll with some stuff, guys, and we'll see you next Friday at our regular time, 12 noon PST on uh, Fridays. And this is Deluxikov saying thanks for popping, Popperganda, all that stuff. If you got any questions, concerns, comments, send it to popperganda at gmail.com. Good commercial ideas, this and the other. I'm trying so hard to have Galvanic Blast Breath Mints commercial by next week. We shall see. But until then, guys, we'll see you next time. And thanks for joining us. Here's the list again. down or despondent? Has a friend or loved one noticed you look withered? Iresius is...
there more to entertainment than 500 channel TV and zillion dollar movies? Turning the sound up and your mind off? Is there still a place where fun involves thinking, imagining, doing? Some of us think so, and we find it in a game. Magic the Gathering. All you need to play is a brain, a deck, and a friend. Attention Papaganda Knights! Show your love of all things Papa with our Ultra Deluxe Playmats. And true to our Papa roots, the glorious artwork is 100% free. Trying to give these guys everything they can get to me. That's it. it. Just send an email to papaganda at gmail.com with the subject one, two, or three, and we'll send you the playmat file for free. I gotta read it again because my mind is just a piece of this morning. All you need to do is visit our friends at inkgaming.com. Order yours today.